just as an odd comes off. <laughs> Hello and good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to Chaotic Stupid. Um, we're from Prince of the Custard. We play metal, but today we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, how are you all doing, guys? You good? Hi. All good here, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought you were talking to the chat. Yeah, man. I'm all good. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah man. Why well, not? Um, yeah, hello to everyone in the chat too. Cheers for joining us. Um, I know it's been a couple of weeks, um, but we're all groovy. Um, yeah, it feels like a lot longer because we played for ages, um, like week on week, and then having the week off, it's just kind of thrown us all a little bit. Mm. But here we are. What yeah. here is it? It has felt, felt like a long time since we last did this. And it has. So um, in the same manner It's as... been a while! <laughs> in the same sort of manner as um, some better internet Dungeons Dragons would uh, uh, Dungeons Dragons DMs would do it um, we actually have announcements to make today so like what a fucking what a pleasure <laughs> that is <gasps> yeah um, so uh, yeah uh, we're officially affiliate now <laughs> um, so we you guys can sub to us and follow us and stuff and like weird shit will start popping up on the chat and stuff um i'm gonna tinker with it a bit more i'm gonna speak to to sladen in the coming weeks and figure out how to really maximize the the benefit of it and maybe get the chat involved to to choose yeah, I mean, certain my, things for my like stream is just a selection of memes and people telling me to do stupid stuff by yeah. spending money on me um so i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna start doing like getting the chat involved for um, wilderness encounters, um, just like just like little little things that I would normally roll a table for. Maybe I'd put up a poll over a break, and be like, "Hey, the winner of this poll out of these options um, will be what what goes on." So that'd be fun. I'm looking. How shall we fuck these guys up? Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suddenly dragons <laughs> everywhere. Um, yeah. So um, hilariously, as a as Zero has pointed out in the chat, as he's uh, he's got his nice little first first badge there. Um, he's mm -hmm. sub to us, so what? technically we're getting paid to play D and D. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're officially officially doing this as a job, kind of. So that's cool. Um, so thank you all very much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, it kind of helps give us the the little bit of motivation to to carry on with it at this level as consistently as we are. So got some like say some interesting things coming your way um over the next couple of weeks um if you haven't already and you've got an amazon prime account please use it to subscribe to us because it's free um you have to do it every month which is kind of a bummer but um basically we get paid and it's free so if you've got amazon prime please do that that'd be amazing um and we'd love you forever um apart from that i think Unless anyone else has got anything you wanna you wanna say. Thanks. <laughs> what is it, banks? <laughs> banks. Let's go rob them. Let's yes, get loads let's, of money. Let's talk so, about banks. Let's get loads of money from <laughs> banks. Yeah. So what's we can about, just what's with it, it depends what kind of level of announcement you're going for. Because like I I had a really good lunch. We we, we know you've been telling us at length it's about what is happening yeah. to you. Um, similarly. Um, great. We've been doing consistent streams throughout the week um, on uh, like our various personal kind of things. Um, Russ is doing his, uh, his shitting bricks. Um, are you doing that tomorrow, bud? Yeah, I'll be doing it tomorrow. Carrying on so, with Alien Isolation. I'm not sure if I fixed the technical issues we had with the camera not showing up, but okay, if, I, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll carry absolutely. on playing it. Um, I've been playing Doki Doki Literature Club and it's Bizarre just bit. what you imagined it to be. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's veering more and more into the uncomfortable as time goes on, I must admit. Um, I know, it must be, what, your fifth, sixth replay by now? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, this is like I think, the third dating sim I've ever played. And it's even it's barely a dating sim. It's just kind of weird and waifu-like. But that's a Thursday thing, so that's, that's, a, that's another thing entirely. Um, but you guys now know about it, so... Um, come and hang out and listen to me write poems. It's really, really boring, but I really could do with your <laughs> you making it easier on me. Um, so let's um, let's play some D and D, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So let me start by bringing in some nice wilderness sounds. 
Um, of course, chat, as always, if there's any technical issues, anything's too loud, anything's too quiet, um, that we're not aware of, please do let us know and we'll, uh, we'll sort it out. So, when last we left our intrepid adventurers, um, they had just finished investigating the recently opened tomb of a half-elf, half-giant paladin um, called Servakov uh, from the Order of the Purple Worm. Uh, a band of mounted paladins, essentially. Um, I just this moment got Order of Purple Worm. I just, I really? just got what I is. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what. I, I, oh, I don't know what. Dude, you know, man. I, don't like, know if oh, if there's, I feel if, bad for you. If there's a wang joke to be made, I'm making it. <laughs> like, what is... <laughs> I got a off. That was the obscure one, but okay, here we go. <laughs> that was so. very subtle, but <laughs> yeah, subtlety is, is my thing. Um, so well, as subtle as a napalm enema. <laughs> yeah. No subtlety about it whatsoever. Just, just the entirety oh, 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 of, a, of an of an Encona hot sauce bottle just poured right up me. Um, I digress. Ooh, 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 um, ooh. So you guys had so recently, D&D, yeah? so yeah, <laughs> recently <laughs> raided. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the the now opened tomb uh, of of Sir Vakoff. You guys were accosted by um, some guardians, um, notably a big fuck off tree that that nearly nearly completely splattered our uh, our half orc companion. Um, nearly, nearly <laughs> didn't, but nearly <laughs> um, almost. Uh, the rest of you were bitten in the ankles by rabid mushrooms, um, and as I would always say, never trust uh, never trust. Um, Something that that steals your oxygen and doesn't isn't a tree. It's like it's what's what's the, what's the point? It's like it's basically an animal. That like, is something that. you always say. It's it's true. That is say something you say, and it's it's that is <laughs> coherently as bad. At least once a week. Yeah, I hate you say that. Fucking hate no. <laughs> Like honestly, like they 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 don't they don't take in carbon dioxide and exude oxygen. They're just fucking thieves. Oxygen thieves. Um, so screw that noise. Um. Anyway, yeah. So the ankle okay? biters. No, mate, I'm not slept properly. Yeah, me, mate. We were both up until yeah, like. Uh, they are not fun guys. <gasps> look, you look, guys, look, it's there. It popped up. It popped up. Um, hey. Thank you, thank you, Tim. Oh, uh, cheers for uh, for doing that. See, like we've got we've got pickle weasel emojis and shit. That's cool. Um, cheers for that, dude. Much appreciated. That's an extra well, couple of to me. couple Thanks. of couple of extra dollars in our beer fund. So thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> um, By subbing to this awful D and D account, you have helped <laughs> us. Back. Yeah, I mean, we did spend 20, 20 minutes talking about cheese and wine last time, so I think I've got to get my mushroom frustration out early. <laughs> um, yeah, so mushroom, frustration. mushroom frustration. Mushroom frustration just sounds like what you do in the bathroom at, at five in the morning. <laughs> what, when it's all bloated, you just you need to do something with it. Um, so you'd set out from uh, <laughs> set out from Dingleberry under the um, the sort of employ, probably, I guess is probably the best way of putting it, um, loosely, of um, the Governor Biffer Ratchley over there. Um, and he has given you a map, uh, pointing you towards the location that was divulged from a goblin prisoner uh, off to to the big old Eamon Hung. Uh, as, yeah, and it's not Eamon Holmes. I, I know you're thinking it's Sladen. <laughs> It's big old. It's always as well. <laughs> um, so Every you've made single your way out time. There. Um, it's been a couple of hours. You've made you made it to <laughs> what mid mid afternoon sort of thing. I think it's like like two or three. Um, yeah. In the afternoon, it's it's clear. Um, the birds are singing. It's uh, it's a pleasant coastal afternoon. Um, you guys have recovered this big blade um, with some giant rune script on it, and for here we are. You guys wake your way out of the um, out of the the tomb into the um, slightly dimming afternoon sun, um, as it's now on your back. Yes, as it as because it, it goes in the west, <laughs> so it's on your back <laughs> as you guys are making your way. Um, so, what would you ladies like and to- gentlemen, on this episode of Chaotic Stupid, Ian tries to figure out how the sun works. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> we, don't, we don't know how it works in this world. You know, fuck my cannon. <laughs> it's my world. Fuck your the, sun, cannon. the sun's always on your back in my world. You know, you're just forever sleepy. In any case, what would you like to do, gentlemen? <laughs> um, I will just walk out of the uh, walk out of the doorway, just sort of dusting myself, going. Go to the ethereal door, they said. 
do all the stuff the disembodied god voice tells you, they said. Isn't this going swimmingly? And start well, walking my way down the path again. Guess who didn't get a magic sword? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I may be a bit salty, what of it? So do you guys um head back towards the, the road, or do you guys go cross-country for a bit? Um, didn't we say we were going to try the inn? Yeah, so we're already on, heading that way. Let me let me put you guys onto the the world map. I'll, I'll change it over to that for the stream as well. Um, so you can kind of get a rough indication. Oh, who drew? Did we? Who, did someone figure out who drew the testicles on this on this map? Because um, we need to we need to change that. <laughs> it wasn't me. I don't think we did. I'm fairly confident it was Sladen. Right, whichever one of you it was, remove the <laughs> testicles. You can't. You can't. You can't. I mean. Just because my name is purple and so is the paint, like uh, you know, yeah, you I can't could've... can't profile me. I mean, on I, mine, I absolutely can. On mine, it's the same as my color. On mine. Oh, well, it must have been Ross then. So no, um, it wasn't me. Actually, no, I distinctly remember. I think it was Sladen because Sladen was like, huh, "Oh, huh, what do you have? Have you realised how it looks like a penis? Let me." <laughs> yeah, the, yeah no, that was I'm me. the dungeon master. I've got control too. <laughs> <on this player. laughs> I got rid of your testes. So, so before, <laughs> where are my testicles, Ian? Before, <laughs> before we uh, move on, I think there was a couple of options we had where we saw a ship or a boat or something go disappear here, or rather, Waka did. Yes, I spotted. Oh, yeah, it was like a really a rustling in the bushes, a mm. bustle in the hedgerow, uh, and. Another option was to go <laughs> here, yep. which was to the intersection the, to the rusty trombone. Uh, rusty, rusty trombone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or we could Why start making our way through the forest, but probably we'll end up having to camp somewhere. And there's also danger ops. So, yeah, our <laughs> our our pain sponge is looking pretty. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. looking the only thing I will say though I'm, I'm quite is, um... I need to um, dry out. Which is which is fine. I, w I will say that we did infer something of a time scale when we left the governor. So I would probably say if we go to the rusty trombone, that's fine. But I don't think there's any real way of avoiding the forest on the way back. So do take into consideration when we when yeah. we're on our way back, we may need to take a shorter route, which may include the forest. Oh, you mean coming coming back this way? Yeah, yeah. So it's like if we yeah. if we go to the rusty trombone now, as opposed to going by the rusty trombone on our way back home, that either way is fine. But just remember that if we choose one way. The other route is probably going to have to be the one we take when we come back. Yeah. So as I recall, it's okay. about it's about forty miles a day. I think is about right um, for a reasonable sort of twelve hour march, um, which you could do like relatively happily without incurring too much exhaustion. If you were trying to, if you're going to quicken the pace, um, you would begin to start incurring exhaustion. Um, so you probably could shave like maybe a full day off that trip, but you would be exhausted <coughs> the entire time. Um, for those of you who are less familiar with D&D, &D, exhaustion is not good. Um, the first one yeah, gives you... So it looks like we, even if we go straight from the, the inn, we're still going to have to have a rest before we yeah, yeah, that go would into be aim on home. Yeah, un unless, unless we can get some means of faster travel, then yeah. Yeah, maybe we camp in the forest here, and then one in well, the, maybe, the third maybe the, day. Maybe the... the that idea of fast travel is not a bad one. If maybe at the uh, at the rusty trombone, maybe there's a, a cart or some horses we can. It's a coaching inn, isn't it? So maybe it is. yeah, yeah, it's a we can in. charter a coach. It's um, oh, specifically possible. specifically placed for um, travelers and merchantry um, to have a safe haven between um, places <laughs> of, of moderate to to mild civilization. Um, yeah, you, you guys. So if we get lucky. There might be some merch, and we can sort of jump yeah. into a back. I of mean, a... those of yeah. you that are um, that are kind of more familiar with this part of the world, I would say Waka certainly, um, maybe Gonad. I'm not sure, um, but Waka certainly would know that the the town of Herpes isn't too far away. Um, it's maybe like a day's travel to the to the further to the east. Um, beyond that, Lake Flaccid's probably probably a two two to three day march. Um, so by the time people get to by the time people get to the rusty trombone, they're they're notably shagged. Usually, they they're sick of of camping out. Um, 
<laughs> By the time people no get other words you could have chosen. Like, like, yeah. I mean, I've already used exhausted like six times in the stream already, so I decided on shagged. You know, Austin Power is the the spy who exhausted me. Um, so are we are we putting a pin in this? Uh, that's where that's this roughly where you saw the cove. Thing. Yeah, I uh, or whatever, I, I sort whatever of... was going on. With that ship, I'd query. Yeah, I'd query whether we had the machinations to really investigate that properly without a ship of our own. Really, well, <laughs> okay, let's leave it and hope it doesn't come back and batter us on the ass later. I mean, that's the that's the thing. Um, so, like, what? what yeah, but guys... if we stop and investigate, oh. everything no, no, of course, of course. Like, I mean, it, if if you guys go to investigate the cove, you probably wouldn't get to the to the rusty trombone today. Um, it's like I think yeah, that settles I, it then, doesn't it? I, I don't yeah. like being stuck out at night in the middle of nowhere. And Considering we've just had to fight Treebeard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> cool. Um, right, I think that settles it. Excellent. Right, so um, what are you guys doing then? Are you did you did you decide you were going back to the path or you were heading? Um, I, I think, think we go back to the road. Cross country. We'll, we'll move on to the, the, the rusty trombone. Yeah. Okay. I think was the. Uh... So I believe the the road was probably was like was like half an hour to an hour uphill, um, towards where the where the the tomb was now recently opened. Um, so we'd probably take a little less than that. So probably about forty minutes or so. So this that would take you to closer to three, I would say, in the afternoon, um, to get to the to get to the yeah. definitely on the three year side of of two to three, um, in the afternoon. Uh, by the time you make it to the road, um, you can see from the distance uh, into the south that the the tide is receding a little bit, and there is like um, small beaches that appear um, on the southern southern coast every now and then. Um, that, so you could make your way down through some of the some of the grassy dunes um, and make your way down uh, towards the shoreline at low tide, um, should you wish. Um, it certainly was was high tide when Waka saw the uh, saw the ship or the boat, probably to use the wear word. But needless to say, you continue heading <laughs> east. Um, you spend the next hour or so um, chatting away, adventuring as you do, trudging. It's a really pleasant experience, to be honest. Um, there's farmland every now and then, sort of dotting the the landscape. A um, few smaller houses, um, and it's yeah, just working, you know, working people doing their thing. A few of the farmhouses um, closer um, to Dingleberry have been burnt out, though. Um, they've been sort of like raised um, by what you don't know. Um, you could investigate if you want, I, I imagine, but you could imagine. Um, fire is is usually what would cause that uh, in burning. That is that is normally what would ha what would happen. Um, Very astute there, Waka. Science. <laughs> he didn't even need My the DM God. to tell him that one. <laughs> roll a roll a, roll a weather scrying check. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. So, uh, no. in fact, yeah. Uh, let's see. Go on, Ad. Roll me. In fact, who wants to roll me a survival check? That's a good show. Do that. I've got a plus three, so. I don't... What's it for? Is it for her? <laughs> it's leading no, it's just, survival. Yeah, it's for whoever's sort of leading the way, kind of, you know, keeping an eye out for hazards. Me? You, Shay? Me, you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was already well, tripping up on the. Yeah, first. I was at the first out, so I'll. Uh... Go hey, ahead and do you, it. You just wanted to go away from that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I just... Oh, fair I'm enough. 18, cool. <laughs> um, after, say, an hour or so of travel, um, you see the tide receding and you've passed some farmlands. You end up in a um, in a wider, less populated area where the, the hills and mountainous area kind of um, separating the, the two, the southern and northern uh, pathways oh. in the, the peninsula um, kind of encroaches somewhat more um, towards where the uh, where the coastal road is um, and it kind of narrows and tightens a little bit. Um, in the distance however you do see a small uh, like it's, it's in the distance it's small <laughs> um, but something is lying in the road um, you're probably about oh, about here 
I would say, um, at this point. Um, it's probably getting closer to five or six, the early evenings, because that's setting in. Um, but there is something in the road. What is it? I don't know. We'll tell what it is from this distance, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I mean, if you want to make a perception check for such, um, but you've seen it from, from quite a, yeah, quite a distance a away. Um, and being able to, to point it out. Yeah. No, oh, well. <laughs> I've got my binoculars with me. Yeah, you, uh, you, <laughs> you close the, um, the the remaining sunlight out of your out of your view and and uh, and try and hone in on the situation. Um, it does look like a large uh, animal of sorts, um, but it's laying slightly off, um, like half on, half off the road. Um, stationary, mm -hmm. as best you can tell. Okay. Looks like some sort of animal. Lovely. I'll just sort of nudge my elbow at um, going out and say, "Chuck a ball bearing at it." Or are we like we didn't. Yeah, the kind you're, of you're still you're like that... you're like you're like five hundred, six hundred feet away at this point. Oh, okay, um, we'll we'll carry on. Oh, okay, we can <laughs> I'm just that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a look at Duche just with my bag of ball bearings already out and go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, but I'm not that good. <laughs> All right, um, do. I, mean, I want to look at it. Yeah, I want to look at it. Okay. So as you near, um, can I have perception checks from all of you? You're closing the distance to probably about 250 feet at this point. <laughs> I think I've got sand in my eyes today. Vast man, like you're you're oh, you're, you're, you're wor it's working for you, man. I can't I can't believe you wasted uh, two crits on this. I can't wait till we get in a battle sequence later, and he's already expended his chances of getting roll twenties. You know, oh, we'll, see. we'll see. Um, yeah. So the rest of you are still like, is it just a rock? Like, what is that? Um, you're not sure. Is uh, this a you? You um, you can look in. You can see it's like. Is it a bear? Is it a, is it a horse? Like, it's certainly some sort of large creature. Um, but however, in your sort of squinting to, to really get a proper look at it, um, you very much identify um, a series of large, flying, buzzing creatures around the carcass. Mm, it's some sort of bear or horse carcass, but there's a lot of flying, buzzy things, big ones around the car. Do you think there's any chance it could be a, a half bear, half pig, maybe even <laughs> half man? Fuck's sake. What would you call that? A pig man, man. I think I would. I think I. I you see, I think I would go with man, bear, pig. <laughs> Depending on the anatomy of the creature, of course. Guys, we're playing D&D. &D. This is super serial. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so these look like big, nasty, buzzy things. They do. Yeah. They do. Like, just on a scale of like one to hornet, like, how big and buzzy and angry are they? Are they like those Small, like, death horns? Far away. I would say. <laughs> I've got an idea. I'll give two see. seconds. Oh no. Is this oh. his way of disguising an early pee break? Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, in terms of, it comes about with his knob out. <laughs> about this big. Uh, in terms of in terms of size, it's base. It's they're about the size of my knuckles plushie, but with wings. Ooh. Do they look like flying echidnas? Uh, closer than than most, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look like flying kidneys. <laughs> See, like it's even got it's got its big old kidna dick on its back. That's what that is. I mean, so, has, has anyone yeah. got a fireball they can throw to get rid of them? I think um, good man Vast used a few spells in the last fight. I think he might be a bit tapped. I'm, I'm good with a sword, but I'm not hit a fly out the air. I'm not Mister Miyagi good with a sword. How many of them? I'm are? gonna, I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna see if I can crouch uh, to get a better, to get a better sort of visibility on them. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go um, into the grass, it is probably knee high. You could, 
potentially disguise yourself a little bit in the ga- in the in the grass if you wish. I'm gonna do that. Um, in terms if of, he's good. I'm gonna do that. In terms of how many there are with a with a na- with a twenty one twice, <laughs> like I'm gonna say, you know, there are five of them, um, that you've managed to you've managed to to okay. definitely see. Okay. So um, I'd suggest that we avoid <laughs> them. Maybe we could go round, or we could fight them if you want. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna hide in the in laptop. the grass and start moving towards them, just to get a better look oh, at them. I want, I want to, okay. no. I just I just want to know what they are. Okay, how close are you getting? If the um, big bastard so, hornet echidnas. I'm gonna <laughs> say. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna go within like. It's sixty feet because that's still quite a ways away, but it's close enough to probably see what they are. Okay. Right, give me just one moment, and I will show you things, the likes of which you'll never imagine. He's going to show us his dingus. Again. <laughs> That's why he was my, getting ready off camera. Showing you my, my, off. my flying echidna. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you call it? <laughs> his horny kidney. That's it, oh man. god, why's it got knuckles? <laughs> it's a, the double joint. It's actually a mispronunciation. You've got it's a it's a mispronunciation. You've got to assemble it. It's actually called the flying akinda. <laughs> right, where is this fucking man? Thank you to all one of you who who appreciate that. Ooh, you guys can see grass on the stream. However, as I make it more visible. Oh God. Why is that super blurry for me? There we go. It takes a moment to load up because it's a new asset. However, <clears> yeah. However, is that a giant owl. Make a make a nature check. Oh, it's an owl bear. Sorry, it's an owl bear. <laughs> owl bear. <thing. laughs> oh, that's just that's... Yes. <laughs> However, it is notably decayed. The, the part of the um, of its sort of torso is inflamed. Is it an owl bear um, pig? Uh, it can be. Um, it's difficult to tell. <laughs> so it's, a lot of it is swollen and uh, and sort of rent asunder. Um, there is a lot, a lot of it's blood. swole as hell. Um, it was already pretty fucking swole, but now it's like now it's like on steads in death. You know. Um, roll a stealth check for me while you're getting close. Um, so I want to get behind these rocks, ideally, because that's sort of within they're, a decent sixty yeah, feet not, range. Yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not very big rocks. Um, but you know, they're. I know, but the the grass is knee high, and I'm being super sneaky sleuthy times. The rocks are bigger than grass. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, um, roll the stealth in any case. Nice. Oh, okay. nice. It's a twenty-three. <laughs> yeah, they. Um, I might be okay. You're pretty silent. Um, they don't seem to have reacted to your presence. Um, they seem kind of frenzied by the, uh, by the the smorgasbord uh, of blood and sort of gamey. Um, I will. I can I? Flash. Can I tell what they are from where I am? You can. You've you've probably encountered these before. They're quite a common nuisance um, to travelers. Uh, they're sturges. They're basically murder hornets. Big big <laughs> fuck off mosquitoes, and they do look like echidnas okay. in, this, uh, in this one, don't they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like echidnas with wings. Do. It's pretty pretty accurate. Um, yeah, you're, if you if you thought wasps at Bloodstock were were bad, like these guys are enough to kill an owl with, that's mixed with a bear. More on the bear side. Moo indeed, Mister Cow. Great. Mr. Kyle. Can <laughs> <laughs> um, anyone see where the fuck so, I'm, just, I'm just having a look. Yeah, well, no, with the <laughs> 20 we won't have a clue where he was now. He's pissed um, off. I vote we try and skirt around this, though. I did say that, and then he fucked off. And that was his decision. I did. I did tell you all where I was going before I went. By the way, I didn't just disappear into the grass <laughs> like Homer into a hedge. I mean, mm. well, I don't 
want to. I don't. I don't want to do anything if anyone else isn't. I just wanted to know what we're dealing with. I wanted I, to know what they are. I, I, I'm intrigued I, I, by the uh, <laughs> fauna. Yeah, I am. I yeah. don't even like dealing with the. Gonna make my way back to the group. So I'm. I'm good avoiding this. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way back to the group then. Okay, roll another cell check. And that. Uh, <laughs> make sure oh. to call them all pansies while I do so. Uh, oh. No. Oh. As you uh, as you turn round and begin to sort of slink away, the thrumming becomes slightly louder. As you realise, you think you may have drawn the attention of one or two of them closer to you. As long as it's only one or two, that's fine. I've moved them, but it doesn't seem to have updated on the stream. Oh, I know why, because I'm not looking at that. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, it starts moving towards you. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to hide. Okay. Um, roll a stealth check. <laughs> what are you hiding in? The, the tall grass. Just the grass. The rest of you just going to just drop. rest of you make perception checks, please, as you're kind of... Like, you don't know where he went. You kind of saw him, like... Like go into the grass and sort of begin sneaking around. You can kind of occasionally Christ. see him from bits, but um, Christ. But he oh. seems to have become invisible for the most part. Um, you know he's over there somewhere, but you're not sure where. Let me uh, see the uh, the hornets moving. Then you guys uh, with with those rolls, difficult to tell. Um, you guys are probably what, like 200 feet away. Um, it's still quite quite tough to, to gauge exactly. Not banked. Banked a little bit of perception with two natural 20s. No, no you haven't. <laughs> That's not how this works for us. You rolled another one. <laughs> you looked into the sun after that. <laughs> um, did my hiding work? Um, you spend a few seconds sort of holding your breath and camping still. Uh, the buzzing gets louder and louder as they approach. So no, you don't think so. So it, I does, think it does seem to have uh, seemed to have once we're hearing screaming, we go and help. So screaming is the key. Um, yes. Okay. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> That's the signal. Hang on. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Oh, what if only you had soil. Right, you know, you know the doctor, you know, you know the doctor in Hot Fuzz when he just stands up and just pulls two pistols out of his jacket. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but with knives <laughs> <laughs> and just fuck off, grasshopper. <laughs> just yeah, just yeet him, just yeet him at the murder hornets. Sure, man, do it. Um, because I don't want to get, I don't want to get stabbed. <laughs> Okay, which one? Which ones are you aiming where? Uh, okay, so the first one is going to the left, and the second one's going to the right. Okay, cool. Um, the first one uh, clips it and t uh, chops off one of its uh, um, one of its legs. Uh, roll your damage. Yes. Yeah, you don't get sneak attack. However, um, it severs the wing off one of them, and it, it spins. Um, and drops to the ground, sort of skitters in the, the grass for a minute before falling lifeless. Oh, I was wow, so the okay. Good, they're weak as tits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other dagger, however, goes sailing past. Uh, roll me a, um, a d20 and double it, please. Very. Uh, that would be 32. Excellent. So your dagger flies past it and lands in the grass. Think here. Uh, another one notices oh, that, that commotion and begins flying <laughs> over. Um, at this point, I think we probably should roll some initiative. Um, I'm going to figure out how far this one would go, though. Yeah. If we if we notice at this point that there's something going on, he hasn't screamed yet. So um, yeah, you, we've you, all you sort did, of agreed that if we hear did, him screaming like a ninny, we'll. Uh... You did kind of see him stand up though and just fucking launch something. So you think it's probably not sneaky anymore. 
Um, <laughs> but we two, Did you say we were, we were a good like 200 feet away from we're about him? About 200 he... feet, yeah. Um, so right, we, um, well, I'll I mean, probably like to say that we're carrying on, like um, catching up at a wary distance. So you, they've from the owl bear um, to the edge of the screen on the left, it's 100 feet. So you're another distance that far away. Um, so you're probably about 130 feet away from from Gonad. Right on. So, uh, yeah, let's um, let's get rid of these mushroom boys and do some things. Um, would you guys like to select your tokens, Russ? <laughs> um, and I've got a fucking token, Ian. And everyone, oh yeah, well. <laughs> just type it in on your character then. <laughs> Shit. Um, damn, that's what I get for being clever. Just drag myself in. Nope. <clears throat> You've done it. Because you guys are already there. Has something happened to Russ's toke? No, you guys you guys are there. You're just hidden. Um, for the sake of making it easy on you, I am going to... Where, where, did, where did you come from? Because <laughs> you're already... Here. So on the stream, uh, you guys can see it. There, oh, fucking hiding. They're down here. Um, oh god, there's loads of them. What's going on? There's two douches as well. Um, can you well, guys control shit. your characters, yeah? I think they've added added themselves in, haven't they? Oh, yeah. yeah well, I'm sorry. Against your instructions. Mm. I think you should punish them. Maybe I should. <laughs> um, yeah, douche, have you got control of e any of either of those? Yeah, this one. Okay, then I'll get rid of that one. Okay, um, awesome. so let's put you all there, essentially. Um, so you've probably awesome. got like another, like another hundred feet to go before you get to that point. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So we'll bear that in mind. Um, if you guys want to, I should probably add your turns, shouldn't I? You guys have already rolled initiatives, right? So. Yeah, uh, I need to do mine. Actually. Add turn and. Oh fuck! Oh, for God's sake! It's okay. I shall fix this. Because I am qualified. You can't fix that role. I mean, probably not. <laughs> um, On the bright side, that's still double the murder hornets. Gonad has that, so he can disappear on this True one. That. Vast, you got 17. You're there, that's cool. Duché, you got 15. Uh, mm -hmm. You're not on either of those. You're not there, but it's okay. We'll do that. Add the turn for you. D&D. Super exciting. Uh, fucking hell, Gonad, you're there, so we don't need this one. I'm seeing... I've got a different turn order to you guys, because I've not deleted everything, so... Um, I have two walkers. Which one's the right one? The higher of the two is the right one. Okay. So you guys should be able to see everyone. And now if I do that... Beep! Is that correct? Everyone there? Oh, it's yep. another weird All animal right. from around here that goes beep. Yeah, it's, uh, like it's the, the birds it's and the, dingleberry go ding. It's the it's the mating call of the owl bears. <laughs> it's not. It's really not. <laughs> Cause that Should we be... got those berries ready? Because I'm not fucking throwing owl bears at you. I'd hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Just zo zombie owl bear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I need to find a nice flying evil thing for music. Let's do this one. I don't know what this is. That doesn't sound I mean, right. Flight of the 500 Murder Bees. Yeah. I'll, I'll just look in the section evil, subsection. It's just <laughs> early 90s death metal Let's, guitar Oh, here tones. we go. Here's a nice one. It's under Hell Swarm. And there's one called, <laughs> just, it, oh and there's one called Insecty Day. So I'm like, that sounds appropriate, right? Come on, you fucker. Uh, Brad, it's not even it's not very magic y at all. God damn it. I need to really get this sorted out. Right, let's fucking do do spider battle. That'll sound good. Spider battle, spider battle. It's a battle with spider things. They're not spiders. They're murder wasps. This song has lost its way. <laughs> and... anything? No, no, that... no, no DM inspiration for that rhyme. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, fuck. Oh, they. That's why I'm not a bard. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, before this descends any further, vast, um, what would you like to do? You've seen him oh, stand up in yeet daggers. Um, um, can I sprint 60 foot? You can. You can indeed. You have 40. Keep a note of your distance before you get on the map, yeah? Um, okay. Beautiful. So you're 40 feet away. Uh, touche. Oh, yes. Um, oh, wait. Uh, Ian, have you got control of my token? It's not oh. letting me. Balls. Can you guys move your tokens, by the way? I can move mine, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why is Douche not doing it? It says controlled by. That's bizarre. It's yeah, whenever I click on it, it says Ian. <laughs> really shouldn't. I don't understand. Uh, let's see. Just uh, delete it and you can drag it in again. Try that. Oh. No? Nope. Then just drag oh, it wait, in. Oh, wait, yeah. Nope. Oh. Doesn't matter. Okay, I was about to delete you there. <laughs> I was about to delete you. All right, cool. Delete you, boy. Excellent. Uh, so yeah, do shape, do your thing. What would, you, what, what would okay. your thing do? Uh, I'm going to. It's not. Yeah, whenever I do the, um, you know, the whole distance check thing, mm -hmm. it'll let me do it on other tokens, but not on my own. Uh, right, I'm gonna try and avoid the hornets, so I'm just gonna right, I'm just gonna keep an eye on that square there. Just gonna move my thirty feet to Come on you Remember you're off map by hundred feet. Oh yeah. hundred feet, right, so I'm just gonna move a bit further then, so I'll probably just meet up with where we actually are on the map then. But I'm not gonna do much uh, past that, be, that's just gonna be my turn. You'll be as close as uh vast is. What's your what's your uh movement? Is it thirty or thirty five? It's 30, I believe. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, why. Because there's nothing you can do with your turn, you may as well just dash waste it. a dash action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like then. it's like if you had, say, like like a spell or a cantrip or a bow um, that had the appropriate range, you could take a flying shot at it if you wanted. Um, but you, you've opted not to and opted the, the way of pain. Um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gunnad. You've just thrown your daggers. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to unsheath my bow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you unsheath the bow? I don't really know. Uh, they don't I'm really gonna, have I'm sheaths, ready right? <laughs> I'm going to get me boa. I'm going to get me boa. Um, and I'm going to shoot a wasp. All right, which one are you shooting at? Uh, the one that's closest to me. Okay. So uh, I would say this one at the bottom. Okay, that's cool. Roll your attack. Uh, God damn. Draw, you see... And it fires past it, landing in the carcass of the bugbear. Um, well, this answers the question that we asked I'll earlier. Die. Who's going to get all the shit rolls today? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it, Jesus thunks, Christ. It, it thunks with a with a satisfying squelch that is audible even from that distance, um, but <laughs> is uh, however not what you were uh, aiming for or trying to do. But it was fun nonetheless. You have your bonus action and um, your movement, if should you wish it. Um, yeah, uh, is the grass like? Does the grass get any tall around these areas where it's not a bit particularly? Darker? Not particularly, no. Well, you know what? I'm gonna s sort of crouch into the tall grass, tallish grass, and just try and hide again. You say it's a it's a short bow, right? Or is it a long bow? It's a short bow. It's a short bow. Okay, I just can't remember if it's um if it's class as a light weapon. No, it's not. It's it's a it's symbols. Okay, it's two handed. Not to worry. Um, cool, excellent. Uh, so you're moving. You say you're moving, yeah? Yeah. So I'm gonna move a little bit further back and just h try and hide in the grass. Okay. Um, bonus action hide if you want. Um, make a stealth check. That's, that's meme. Okay, that's pretty good. You see him, you guys can see him uh, sort of go, ah! Turn around after launching an arrow and dive into the deeper part of the grass. Um, <laughs> it's it's really more convincing than you thought it would be. It's like, like Scrooge McDuck style. Um, you never, you've never seen like <laughs> it's it's quite quite a skill to to hide that much of your mass um, in one. I keep foot forgetting of grass. That I've got things like hide because then I get like advantages on attack and stuff. I'm just a, I'm just a fucking idiot. 
if, assuming you you are officially not seen. Um, but yeah, you, you yeah. think you suspect, however, that because you flattened some grass uh, in your in your dive, um, that it may be more easy to see you from the from the air. But you've given it a try. Um, you're not. You also got to remember that he smells very strongly of cheese. He does. He does. Always. Okay. Uh, waka waka. Um, I'm just gonna join in and just do a, a dash, a sprint, sixty foot okay. as well, and uh, join fast. Excellent. Okay, so and you guys are all collectively forty feet off the map currently. Okay. Um, you can run diagonally should you wish if you wanted to get closer um, to where Gonad is, um, but I'll leave that to your discretion. So you can basically pick your your starting point on the left column when you get to that point, right? So, the Sturges, um, with the audible thunk, in the uh, in the bugbear, um, the other two animate and fly off. They seem to have been, uh, one of them was, was landing on it, drinking away from it, um, like mosquito style, um, but has uh, detached and begins rearing in the air and comes flying at you. The other one just swoops around and just follows suit. Um, they can go quite a distance. <laughs> so in a dash they're gonna go yeah they're gonna get you they're not gonna be able to hit you this round but they're gonna get you um these other two I did a over. really good stealth check as well <laughs> you did you did you hit it in one foot of grass really <laughs> really really well <laughs> um, still your, your tail sticking out <laughs> the other two, Stuff however, like um, come flying at you, um, <clears throat> and uh, like begin to attempt to, to stab you with their their big needle-like appendages. Proboscis, I believe, is the uh, the proper proper term. <laughs> Need uh, the first one is a twenty-three to hit. I believe that hits. What the <laughs> fuck are these things? <laughs> <laughs> the other one is a seven. I believe that doesn't hit. Murder Hornets, man, Murder Hornets. Oh, yeah, the really seven hornets. fucking doesn't. Fuck off. Okay, so that's four piercing damage. Man, fucking... um, as it as it stabs oh, right into God. you, so it flies right down uh, onto your onto your s semi hidden butt, and just just jabs straight into your meaty cheeks, um, and uh, the pain does not move. Um, you kind of feel it. It's it's. It's on you. It's getting evolution style. <laughs> Something's in me. Um, yeah. <laughs> take it. Take the. Look. <laughs> it's heading towards your penis. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's attached to you. Um, yeah, the second one doesn't quite manage to find purchase. And the other one knocks it out of the way. Um, that'll be the end of their turn. So you've, uh, yeah, you've taken four piercing. Vastificus. Okay. What would you like to do? I'm going to move 30 foot forward, mm -hmm. so I'm 10 foot off the edge of the map. Yep. And then I'm going to use Magic Missile. Excellent. On, I'm going to hit two into the one closest and one into the one second closest. Excellent, cool. Roll your uh, roll your things. Come on. Come on, third one. Okay, cool. <laughs> so the... um. Your missiles all all fly off in this this sort of wonderful sort of firework jubilee style affair. Um, the first one just explodes with the first hit. Um, the second one sort of revolves around where the body was and then fizzles into nothing, uh, as just bits of bug meat are just splattered everywhere. Um, the second one also just combusts on impact. Um, oh, these guys have very little health. I should spread them out more. Um, okay, fair. But they are uh, they have been they have been splattered out of the ether. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? I don't believe there is unless you want yeah. to sorcerer stuff. Yeah, there is. Um from a bonus action I'm going to use two sorcery points to get a spell slot back. Okay, I believe that's a level one spell slot, right? Correct. Wonder bra. Excellent. Douche, you've just seen fireworks with like a Roman candle of pain just Launching these bugs out of the sky. What are you doing? Um, right, I'm only on. Th I'm only thirty feet movement, so I'm gonna use a dash again. 
I mean, just you're to move the pulse. you're currently. I, mean, I was about forty feet off. Yeah, if you're moving diagonally, you're currently eighty feet from the nearest one. Should that make a difference? In total. Like, oh, I'm not trying to get near those. I mean, oh, I, <laughs> I, get, I can suppose I could get near them actually. If I was trying to run feet. past them. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me <laughs> later. <laughs> Distracted. <laughs> I'll get around there when you're done. It is a lovely day for a jog, it must be said. <laughs> right, so uh, about eighty feet away from the nearest one, mm -hmm. so that would be. Uh, so with your movement, like you can get you can get within one. thirty uh, within fifty feet of it. Should you have anything that can be affected within that, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> or you can dash and get within twenty feet of it. I think I'll just dash and get within 20 feet okay. and just, uh, let me just uh, check that whereabouts that would. That would that place would. you about, about here, I think. Should you right, wish, yeah, I'm or, good with or that. Or anywhere in that column, really, if you wanted to be. Right. I'll go for about here-ish, then. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, um... Sorry, I, I <laughs> jumped the gun. So that's your dash, right? Yeah, yeah, that's my dash. So you bon uh, yeah, so you use your action to dash. You have bonus actions if uh, if any of them are applicable. I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's nothing I can really do. Okay, cool. Gonad, you are uh, somewhat prostrate. Um, you have an insect in your butt and another one buzzing around. So is he still attached to me? Yeah, he's he's on the outside, perched on your, uh, on your, uh, on your, on your supple, ample buttocks. But so wait, I'm gonna WWE style just jump and land on my ass and see if I can squish it under my body weight. Okay. That is terrible. Roll, roll, it's an awful roll idea. Roll a. We have to go roll deeper. A, roll an unarmed strike. <laughs> um, roll an unarmed strike with advantage. Okay, um, and roll me a D four. He's about to use a hornet as a butt plug. Okay. It definitely connects. D4 is how many inches it goes up his bum. <laughs> okay. Oh, I rolled oh, right, an arm right. strike there as well. So you, you land on it and it squirms underneath you um, oh. in the Ooh. ground. It is like it's underneath you. You feel its wings have bent and crumpled under your mass. Um, however, it's still very much alive. You've just kind of compressed it. The four is, is how much damage you took from forcing the needle of its uh, of its um, head further <laughs> into your skin. So take four piercing damage. I'm the first good roll I've done all day, and it, it hurts. But it is <laughs> you, <laughs> you. You think you've rendered it flightless um, as a result, however. But yeah, but in it's, that case, it's, it's very sore. You're gonna. It's gonna leave a mark. Like, yeah, that's fine. In that case, I'm gonna, big old I'm gonna plushie. stand up. <laughs> with whatever movement that takes. Sure, yeah. And uh, just slice it off. With what? How, though? With, with a sword. But your first attack it's wasn't made with a, Your first attack wasn't made with a light weapon. I believe that's the rules for... for um, yeah, do dual hand fight. Yeah, that's true. Let, let, me, let, me, let me double check. <laughs> let me double check. Is unarmed considered a light weapon? Uh, don't know. Cause I think there would be there would be considerations for it. An unarmed strike is always considered a light weapon. Yes, so you can use your bonus action to do it. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use my scimitar to try and just. You would need to use half the you half need, to get him off my ass. You would need to use an unarmed strike for it, though. I think because scimitar is a scimitar. Oh, you, light it weapon. would have to be another one armed. It would need to scimitar be another, a light weapon. It needs yeah. to be another light weapon. Yeah, sorry. And if you don't have the one weapon. on your ass, you may be saving yourself from cleaving off your own ass cheek. Um, mm -hmm. Scimitars think, yeah. are not light. Oh, yes, they are. Sorry, they are finesse weapons. My bad. Okay, cool. Yeah, do your thing. My bad. It's um, one. So you, you, take oh, well. your, um, you take your scimitar and sort of just waft it around like you're, you've done a really horrible buggy fart. Um, and you just you hear it slapping against it wetly. Um, it, fr from those of you that are still far enough away, it just looks like he's wafting. Um, it's really difficult to, to figure out exactly what's going on, but you're wafting away, um, and you occasionally slap it with the flat of the blade, but never getting, um, never getting anything, any purchase on it. I'm afraid. Sounds like drunk sex. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Uh, with the flat of it, fucking, I'm just stuck with a bug hanging out my ass. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do fuck all. Okay. Tuesday. He's gonna stand there. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> you just rammed a bug right up here. Um, Waka. The thing is, I think these only have like two HP as they well. They do. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like you, you did the only thing that could possibly they could possibly survive. <laughs> I mean, if you'd fallen oh. if you'd fallen from a greater height, I would have given I would have split falling damage between you, but it wasn't exactly. It was like you say, the WWE style. It was like a three foot kind of drop, you know. Yeah. Yeah, like I yeah, just to jump off. yeah, yeah, exactly. You didn't have the the propulsion to do it. Um, however, it's Waka amazing all... that in a fight with fucking three things so far that have two HP, I've managed to find purchase on one of them. <laughs> and the only other time I tried to attack one, I ended up fucking injuring myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to, do to, be to, slice, to slice a bug off your own arse, man. It's like it's it's not easy. Um, Speaking from experience, <laughs> you weren't there, man. You weren't there. Um, so yeah, Waka, you are what? What was it? 30, 40 feet off the map currently, right? Forty feet off the map. Yeah, so, so you, you can get I... you can get as close with a dash to Douche. Um, although you do have your action surge as well, so that is something to be noted. That's true. Should you wish That's to true. use it to to fight? A total of three HP worth of bugs. <laughs> Don't you have like a throwing axe or something as well? I've got two hand axes. Oh, yeah. He yeah. does. Um, uh, what's the what's the range on your hand axes? Because you could get you can get within thirty feet. Um, um, twenty foot. So well, sixty with disadvantage. Okay, yeah. So you could you could throw at disadvantage if you want. If I'm you, gonna, if I'm you gonna, wish to do that. I'm do that. So I could, I, without my action stage, I can get with get within sixty feet. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You can get um, you can get ten feet behind Douche, basically. Any anywhere in that column there, um, you can uh, ten feet behind, two squares behind uh, Douche, you can get there. Uh, I'm gonna move the stream chat. So yeah, you guys how, can how, see. how fast can you move, Wacker? Oh yeah, I can only move thirty. Um, so that wouldn't be right, would it? Yeah, no, I mean, he's, I did right. I did say you can move diagonally. Um, if you wanted to to intend to get closer, so he would be somewhere between here, you know, you could get like around that sort of area if you wanted to. Okay. Well, well, if he's 40, 40 feet away, from, uh, I won't argue with you because this is better. What am I doing? Forty feet yeah. off. Oh, I'm ruining my chances. <laughs> oh no, you are you are correct. I'm bad. My bad. However, that was shit. <laughs> you would still be able to throw at a disadvantage. You just wouldn't be on the map, so you would be able to make a, a wild wild launch at it. Yeah. My bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I was, I was gonna ha make a wild swing anyway. Okay, roll, uh, roll at disadvantage. Which one are you aiming for? The one on the butt or the one in the air? Um, is this the one on the air? Yeah, for for all intents and purposes, let's that go for one that. Because I feel if I miss badly, it's not gonna cause <laughs> problem. Just chop it. It's like stop hitting me, <laughs> like Ace Ventura style. <laughs> just like, yeah, just get ah! a piece of slice of rump off off the, uh, the room. I don't want to yeah. <laughs> like. yeah, as Chat's already established uh, and what he's put up, like it's, he's going to be on a rubber ring probably for a couple of days without without a bit of ointment. You know? So yeah, I'm going to aim for the one that's in the air. Um, let's have a lot of disadvantage. It's Fair good. enough. I'll take that. It's like it's 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 almost fucking all right for some. It. Um, you throw it and it just go now. Do you see it? You're slapping away at this at this bug and you just see it coming. You're like, oh fuck! And you duck. Uh, as you duck, the, the the hand axe sails overhead and just collides with the um with the flying one, separating it in two. Um, across your hand axe <laughs> flies off a little bit, just a little bit behind. Um. But is resting nicely and neatly above the uh, above the ground. Um, you don't even need to roll your damage for it. You can if you want for flavor, but you've already split it in twain. No, I'll I'll take my twain split and leave. <laughs> Beautiful, excellent. Let's put a big old sexy red marker on that one. Cool. 
Fuck you, uh, I, said, I just heard an owl in the music then. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of trend. <laughs> like, am I wrong? Is it, I'm, I hope that's not a poor sense. It's the... <laughs> I hope that's not an owlbear. Yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> Phoebes and Neebs are really good at fucking doing owl noises. Was there like some trancy, like, drum and rave stuff going on that Spider's track as well? Because I was here like. Yeah, it's 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 odd, but it, like. That's what spiders do on like on uh, those part like the, the digital pads. They've got like eight half fingers, so they can just. Yeah. Well, on that note. <laughs> um, I knew what I was talking about. The uh, this sturge. Uh, that's currently still in your in your bottom, further re- up your bum. Um, you can feel its legs like squirming around, trying to trying to pull itself out just a little bit. Um, so it's got a bit a bit of control, considering its its wings are just fucked. Um, however, because it's already attached to you, it doesn't need to roll to attack. So, <coughs> it Stick. does go deep. <laughs> but does, but by a hornet, it does five piercing damage to you. Sure. I'm afraid. Um, Duche, Duche, as you're closest, you can see this this bug is like sucking like the life out of him. Um, it goes a deep shade of red. There was like a there was like a um, a bulbous kind of back end to it um, that went from being vaguely translucent to blood blood red. It's fresh. Um, you're not just, death it's just sucking right out of him. <laughs> Death um, That's really, one hell of an anal fissure. It really Death does suck. By a bug. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, that's its turn. Vestificus. Um, okay. So I'm going to move. Uh, where's my mouse cursor gone? Move 20 foot. Okay, yeah, because you would be the, very, uh, yeah. To the map. Thank you for being honest with me earlier, Vast. I appreciate it. What would you like to do? It's all right. Um, just watch. <laughs> uh, but I won't because, you know. <laughs> um, I'm going to do as good as watching and use Ray of Frost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yes. It just never fucking hits. <laughs> Never fucking hit. The Dyson Aircon. <gasps> oh! <gasps> <That's the first. laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Just <Lane's> about, to, <laughs> he's about to get some preparation. Like it because like it, it heals up with um with the with the blood sucking. So like it, if you rolled a one, it would have still been alive. Um, however, uh, for the first time in today's session. What? How would you like to do this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gonad, you yeah, are not so going to be am... harmed by this. However, he describes it. I promise. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, I I finish running, I stop there, and I just create this uh, shard of ice up here and floats slightly above my hand, and I just launch it uh, uh, towards uh, this bug that's in his ass and. As it smacks into it, all the ice, uh, sorry, all the blood in the uh, in its pouch freezes, mm-hmm. and you can see the ice sort of go through the through the uh, the bug and up into the wound inside Gonad, and it's a nice sharp, cold, um, it's a, a quick... feeling sensation <laughs> in his you, bum. You have a, a nice, uh, and, then, and then it shatters. <laughs> Not his bum, the bug. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah, the, uh, the the bug is is sort of crystallized and then is popped out of out of existence. Um, Gonad, you do feel a mild discomfort, like someone's just put like a like it's like they'd already put a needle in you, but then replaced it with a with a with a with a rather rather large cornetto. Um, <laughs> briefly, what before <laughs> uh, mint <Yes>. chalk chip. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's for my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it back. <laughs> More evolution quotes, all I can. <laughs> um, yeah, and you feel you feel it sort of like crack and snap and pop um, as it as it as the remains of it drop out of your. Uh, out what your is body. it? A fucking like, rice crispy? Rice crispy now. Say like rice crispy. It is. <laughs> it's a, it's it's an ice crispy, mate. It's an ice crispy. Um, or is it a frosty? <laughs> or is it a frosty? No, they, 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 this was not great. Does for, it? It doesn't work out. because snap crackle and pop is rice krispies. 
but it's ice. Right, it's Ray of, Ray so of Frosties, yeah. mate. <laughs> Just throwing fucking cereal at you. Like, it never hits. It, this never works. Ice mix. <laughs> yeah, if you got a if you got a fucking terminal velocity Weetabix slung at you, that would fucking hurt. Um, but yeah, alas, uh, the 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 somewhat uh, agitated gonad is now somewhat less agitated with mild discomfort um, as this uh, as, the, as the bug just evaporates. Um, your blood that was that oh. had drawn with you that had previously crystallized in its um in its oh fucking Weetabix, that's great. Um, <laughs> and it's uh it's abdomen um freezes and drops around the floor uh, around you in the grass um and you look at it and you can see it's like a thick thick slurry um however it's slowly sort of melting back into uh, into your your lifeblood and um, you feel a little woozy but not uh nothing untoward but uh with that i'm gonna fucking use a potion of healing <laughs> What's that? Uh, I'm pretty sure our spellcasters are pretty tapped out. Go now, and you're not trying to uh, collect the blood in your water skin. Like you did in that temple. Where the fuck were you? <laughs> Where the fuck were you? You were, you vanished in the grass. I was here! You shouldn't have hide so well. <laughs> okay, now calm down. Now tell us on the stall where the nasty hornet touched you. <laughs> My ass! <laughs> it was my ass. Could have been worse. Could have been your face. In fact, can I do a medicine oh. check on his ass just to oh. see how bad it is? You, you can absolutely. If uh, if Guys, do, can we just can we just appreciate that fucking that roll oh, that is, that yeah. potion of healing? Oh, did you get it? Oh man, oh, that's very great. Nice. That's great. Right. That makes up for all the other rolls. Um, all right. Okay. Cool. So yeah. So Gonad, as you as you chug on this potion, Douche like says, right, come on, let me have a look at it, and fucking uh, begins start unbuckling you to have a quick, proper look at your arse, um, like a like a like a like a I'm head gonna knack, fart. You know. I'm gonna <laughs> fart. Does, does he have to look at my ass? Needs to do it. Roll a, Knowing... roll a, if you're going to fart, roll a Constitution check. Um, Isn't it gonna hurt to fart? <laughs> it's gonna. I would it's like gonna to... really hurt. Um, yeah. Douche with a twenty, um, as you sort of peer past it you can see he's chugging this potion um and the wound seals um leaving just the slightest hint of a mark um uh there's just blood covering the the rest of his pants going out you do not follow through with a 12. yes <laughs> so i just fart on i just um, fart on douche, douche make a make a dexterity saving throw i think it's only okay. fair you get a chance to get away from the waft Yeah, you safely managed to to get out of the way before the diffusing uh, happens. To, to like a slow motion, like Max extent. Payne style, sort of. <laughs> you fucking you, you like you like bullet dodge it's the air. Like, like, yeah. like well, it's like in, oh. yeah, it's like in Wanted. Everything just starts getting grainy. I just see the rippling of the cheeks. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, sorry. I'm gonna... I'm gonna press to digitate like, my asshole clean. It's like, it's like um, in X Men, um, where you see quick the explosions going, and Quicksilver just sees it all in slow motion. You just <laughs> see this waft of green like coming towards you, like that. Oh. Nope. Oh. Yeah, you have you gain momentary uh, thermal vision, you know, and you can just see the hot the heat disperse into the into the the, the early summer air. So, um, yeah, the bugs have been disposed of. The damage has been. Uh, somewhat abated. Um, what what would you guys like to do? Is there anything else? You Can like I to go do? investigate the Albert? It seems like a pretty big creature. Just find. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You. Um. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna sit in the puddle of bugs around me, and I'm just gonna beat the shit out of all of the people yeah. that are already dead. I'm just gonna punch these bugs until there's nothing left of them. Okay. You. Uh, you managed to compress all into like a bug meat patty of sorts. Um. But it's it's it's. Also got your blood in it, so it looks more like a black pudding, but like a wet black pudding. Um, <laughs> with a sieve in douche. And then, you, um, right, then, I, then I'm gonna go fetch my daggers. So I just want to do yep. that before I forget. Uh, Waka, presumably you're gonna grab your hand axe as well, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna grab my hand axe. Then I'm gonna join douche. And the, so you um, guys, you guys all get a wonderful, a wonderful vision as the the currently once again pantsless Waka um, bends over. Uh, put your 90 degrees to pick up his hand axe um, and you can basically see what he had for breakfast and as a result um, it was cheese by the way it was cheese 
You were there. Was Jane. <laughs> <laughs> it was the cheese buffet. Um, I did stuff myself silly because it was free cheese. <laughs> it's just like a rind of Goblin Zola. <laughs> <laughs> so um That's yeah with uh with the seven uh dusha you're not you you know you know the stories of owl bears and how they're like a, an old wizard's tale um that you you've heard like the the stories and stuff of it um that they were created by a mad wizard who got eaten by one by accident and they broke out and bred and now spread across the continent um <clears throat> they're Mostly aggressive, very territorial. Tor- they're territorial. Um, this one is a female, uh, as best you can tell. Um, however, it does okay. seem to have been dead for a, at least a day or two. Um, <gasps> make a medicine check. With a, yeah, with I was going to say with a seven, but a uh, medicine check will do it. That, that'll probably answer my next question. Yeah, one hundred percent. So you you, yeah, you determine <laughs> you determine that the cause of death was not actually bugs. Um, it seems to have been slain uh, with with weapons. There's there's a number of of cut marks, um, few, various other things, um, some smaller daggers, a few arrows. It's like it's, it's it was taken down. Um, you can see that the claws have been uh, sort of salvaged off of it, um, and like other sort of plumage that looked particularly good had also been noticeably plucked. Um, However, the rest of the corpse being swollen and sort of bloated as the as the bugs were feasting. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of the, the rave music before it, it gets worse. <laughs> Big fish, little fish, dead Albert. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna to go to that rave. <laughs> so shit. Oh, oh mate, raves after the pandemic are going to smell like a dead owl bear with just all the pent up. <laughs> Man, yeah. Oh, it's going to be foul. <laughs> They're going to um, smell like the general waste from the red light district. It's going like, <laughs> to smell like your dead bug patty. <laughs> all right, hey, uh, I can, I'm, I'm going to keep that. By the way. What are you making a, a bug? Smell like Douche's sensual bath. The blood patty of your of bug meat. Okay. <laughs> um, you have one risky serving of of food. Okay. Uh, I'll just like relay my findings to the guys. Probably just reiterate that it's probably been killed by a traveling band. Who just sort of saw the chance. Yeah. There was. There's no no sign of any other fatalities, um, or anything caused by it. Um, so there's not yeah. like any corpses lying around that the bug, uh, the owl bear was was able to dispatch. Um, prior. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Shall we? Shall we continue to the the end, man? Yeah. Uh, okay. I so. think. Um, do let's. Our rogue needs some pillows. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. I'm okay see. now. You find you, yeah, you, you, you oh, okay, no, like, little... I literally, I'm, I'm, I'm nearly back at max health. Apart from, apart from my buttholes, I'm almost completely fine. You, the, you do feel a little, um, a little tender, you know, like you've, you've been working out a lot, and it's just like you know, your muscles are a bit. I've just bit... been stabbed in the ass and then drilled it even further in by sitting on it. But I'm then, like, you, I, but then I, you have... I know how I feel. But then you just use magic to make it feel better. So it's like it's. <laughs> It's a you got a hearty, like, a hearty parp out of it while you were there, so it's like you've all been there. Yeah, one guy, one jar, just with hornets. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh no! Okay. <laughs> so, um, as the as the early Leon. evening um, begins to begins to set in, the sun is setting, and the 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 sky glows like a, a lovely golden, uh, golden sort of amber hue. Um, you can see in the distance there's a small hamlet. Um, a number of farm uh, farm buildings, a few barns, stuff like that, um, and fields uh, are are being tended to. Um, you can see the the a larger building in the midst of this hamlet um, that you understand to be the rusty trombone. Um, as you get closer, you can see it's like a well crafted um, sort of oak building. It's all quite wooden. Um, Single story, um, but fairly, fairly well, well to do considering the circumstances. There's like the number of like farm 
shacks and stuff no like dotting around um they are of far less intricate and exquisite uh, construction um, as you approach there are like there's a oh thank you for following barbarella cheers for that thank um, you thank you yeah um the horses there's horses i said there's like there's five horses um at a trough um <clears throat> and they're just being tended to there's not like a stabling or anything but there's it you think it's like they'll be fine there for um for an evening perhaps um if you uh, for for resting um yeah and as you as you approach you see there's a surly looking dwarf um stood on the on the the inside uh underneath the, the front door there is like so there's uh, at the front of it there is like a small set of stairs that raise up into like like saloon basically it's kind of like a saloon manufacturer on the front you know that kind of thing um but single floor but rather large um and as you approach um yeah there is a there's a surly dwarf stood out uh out front just kind of eyeing you up he's he's, he's in the shade um, cross armed, just stood there, just kind of watching everyone comes in. As he, you know, notes uh, notes to you, he's um, he just sort of nods and is on you go. Okay, <coughs> carry on in. Thank you, sir. Um, you sort of like you think it's you find you immediately think it's unusual, um, to see a small settlement as such, um, particularly in this part of the world. That has a dwarf openly sort of guarding the entrance, um, but yeah, alas. So you open up and it, it, you open these swing doors, and they're 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 quite quite large doors. They're not like saloon doors; they're proper proper doors to keep the keep the cold out for the winners. Um, and you can see in the early evening, there's um, the sound of music immediately floods. Uh, it floods you. Um, there's a number of tables. Um, a few sort of picnic bench style sort of cubbies uh, off to the side. <clears throat> a bar in the front left section. There's a, a number of a number of humans just milling around. Um, there's two behind the bar. One's carrying food around, um, and there's a few spot uh, like sporadic tables sat around um, with what look to be there's like a handful of of travelers, um, presumably merchants by your first gl- first glance. Um, and a number of farm folk that are, are, seem to be done for the day. Um, you assume these are probably the locals um, that, that frequent the most interesting place in their hamlet when a hard day's work of toil and the dirt is done. Um, and they come here to, to sell themselves a drink. Um, notably, there is a half-orc um, off to your left in the in the corner. Um, again, sort of lurking, casually leaning on a on a like a banister in the side you know i'm um, just sort of just watching everything notes you coming in gives you a briefest of nods and then just keeps on watching um the uh, the barman uh comes up and says oh adventurer is more oh we're having a good day uh welcome to the rusty trombone uh you is this are you do you have any any horses do you want any food do you want uh want a drink and they're like dad stop being such a such an idiot and the the girl stood next to him he gets like this um welcome <laughs> uh what would you like hello there. i'm just gonna slam five gold down on the bar and say give me your strongest beverage and he goes for that you could probably get a cask um <clears throat> well, round one yeah. donut <laughs> Uh, he turns around and he says, um, "Nope, that's mine." <laughs> he looks over and there's a, there's a guy, um, like a guy rushing around with um, with like trays of stew and and sort of bread, and it's, it seems to be like kind of local affair. Um, <clears throat> and he's just sort of like getting around. The, the guy turns around and says, "Rogue, go get the uh, go go pick up um, pick up one of the one of the kegs downstairs." Says, oh, which one? He's like, "What? Well, which one did you want?" He's uh, we've got. Got dark ale. We've got we've got light beer. We've got mead. We've got we've got some some wine. Uh, this lovely guy sold us some wine. Um, we've got some rum. We've got some whiskey. For five gold, I you just can basically bummed. have whatever you want. Um, a I cask, lean over and just go. A cask of your strongest that. rum. 
He says, well, we've got one, uh, <laughs> but you can have it. Um, and it's it's great. It's it's the the local the apiaries run here. It's it's all made from from locally sourced sourced stuff. Um, it's, the the guy calls it the horny lamia, but I'm trying to get him to change it. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, road the the lamia. Go get go pick up a cask. And he's like, all oh, right, sure, yeah, yep, yep. And he he puts the trays down and comes back. Uh, he says, he'll, he'll be a moment. Uh, Anybody else want anything, or you guys you stay in the night? Do you have any? Uh, do you have horses? Um, we don't have any horses, but yes, we would like rooms. Excellent, like excellent. Tonight. Definitely and want some food as well. Would be lovely. Um, and what? if this guy's not sharing his room, I would like a beer. Okay, yeah. Um, Second that. Okay, well, uh, that's that's. There's three of you, uh, but okay. Um, okay, cool. Uh, some some stew, uh, some some drenchers. I'll get that. Sorry, road. And he's like, you hear of distance. He's like, what? He's like, food. And he's like, fucking get Della to do it. And like, All right, well. Uh, <laughs> and she, the girl stood next to us. Just fucking please, Dad. Just calm down. Um, yeah, there's no rush, honestly. And uh, well, I say that. Sit down um, and wait. It's fine. I'm yeah, just well, going to like lean forward and say, um, seeing as you're a man, obviously, who knows his business, would you know of any merchant parties who come through? Maybe those who would be willing to take on a few extra passengers uh, on their way to Amon Hung or there, thereabouts? This is, why would anyone be going up there? Um, the only people that... Oh, thereabouts, that area. Not exactly. Just it's get, not really not Anything really to a lot save a bit there. of time um, on the road. Um, and he's looking right. He says, um, there's some... Uh, there's not exactly merchants that go up that way or adventurers necessarily. I mean, why would they? There's no business up that way. Um, he looks around. And he, he shouts over to one of the one of the farmhands. He goes, "Oi, prick!" And he's like, "What?" And he's like, "Anyone? Uh, anyone going up? You, you see anyone going up toward the North Road?" And he's like, "Recently? No, not really. Um, why? You think gonna go?" And he's like, "No. <laughs> why would I go there?" He says, "Well, why are you asking?" He says, prick by name, prick by nature. Um, he says, no, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. You can ask around. Um, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't imagine so. It's not, not a very popular road. Oh, he's actually called Prick. That's very Yeah, yeah, that's his name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry to hear that, Prick. Sorry to hear that, Prick. And he's like, no, that's all right. I'm kind of get used to it. This one's called Douche. <laughs> douche. <laughs> hey. what, a, what a terrible name. Your mum must have hated you. <laughs> that's Douche. Hey. Uh, very well, we will shall make an inquiries. By the way, these rooms, don't suppose mm-hmm. they have a, a bath facilities? Uh, I can, I, I can draw you up a bath. Uh, there is a well, um, we can, we can make that happen. Um, yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, are you all staying? Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, cool. Um, so we do have three rooms, um, and there's four beds, so you're in luck. Um, however, two of you will share, presumably... I don't care. It's your business. You do your things. We take all sorts here. Um, you do whatever you want. Um, but there is one. Room with, single. There's one room with a uh, with a double with a double I was bed. I going to say, I quite, so I quite like. Do your thing. I quite like the the I quite like the ethos of uh, myself and Vast seem to seem to enjoy sharing our sleeping arrangements because <laughs> we're both <laughs> equally as troubled and idiotic as each other. I prefer to be on a bed this time. It'd be nice. He says, uh, "Well, there's there's one no. room with a there's one room with a double bed. There's one room with a single bed and a room with two single beds." Uh, double bed, children. Okay. Well, I mean, it is, it's going to be for the four of you probably probably a gold a piece. I would say probably works out works out about right. Um, and uh, do should I pay for the kitty? Yeah, yeah, pay for the kitty yeah. for this one. And uh, you guys, you guys want a drink? For, we've got um, we got for, uh, for drink and food. Yeah. For our ale, we've got the General Repose. Uh, that's like a darker, stronger one. And for our beer, we have the Flying Dog. Um, that's uh, kind of a wheat beer. What do you fancy? Gentle Repose sounds like just the thing. Beautiful. I'll take. All right. I'll yes. take. I'll, I'll, I'll join them as well. He's like, oh, three, three flagons <clears throat> of the of the dark stuff. Come in. All right. And he, he just starts dishing them out. Um, and he's like, oh, well, that'll be that'll be two silver a pint. Um, if you want, I can set up a tab, or uh, you can you can pay now. Uh, set up a tab. And we'll set up a it. tab just in case. Okay, yeah, yeah. for all of you, got it. So that's six silver with the food. That's seven. 
uh, the the rooms that's, that's yes. four seven. Uh, so yeah, cool. All right, it's about this time that uh, that the sort of the strapping kind of younger gentleman uh, comes out and he's carrying like a like a cask like this this big. It's like um like a powder keg um, size, probably probably about like five liters maybe something like that's quite quite a hefty hefty thing and he goes like hey, here you go some uh some horny lamia for you and he says like, it's uh some it's honey rum it's uh it's well good it's um it's made with good berries good so it's got, darling. Got, a nice, got a nice tang to it uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm literally just gonna take it off him go and sit in the furthest corner away uh-huh. and say just start drinking myself to sleep and just say you're welcome to it if you need it i'll be drinking <laughs> <laughs> Um, Do you so even yeah. need a bed? Do you just intend to pass out there? I'll find out. <laughs> just I'm um, like I like proper like hand solo. I've just got one leg on the table, like just sipping for like the next god knows how many hours until I eventually pass if out. If he sleeps there, I'm going to push the beds together and starfish. <laughs> 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 um, just for that, I'm going to make sure that I stay just about sober enough to go to bed with you. <laughs> The um yeah, if you play your cards right, you still might push the beds together. You don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's got two arseholes now as well. Uh, everyone, roll perception <laughs> checks for me, please. If you don't know. <laughs> yeah. So what? Do you want to do perception <laughs> checks all round, please? A what check? Sorry. Perception. Right. Please. Yeah. Yeah. It's not to see how many assholes I've got. <laughs> <laughs> and Waka doesn't doesn't care, presumably. Oh no, I'm going. I'm gold on just... <laughs> Come on, man! Hurry up! <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So, um, everyone, nice. bar Gonad, who is more um, interested in finding finding a soft seat in the corner where he can massage his tender muscles and drink himself to, to a honey wine coma um, and hopefully not get the diabetes, the honey rum coma, sorry my bad, um, with some horny lamia um, yeah. the rest of you sort of get your, um, get your get your flagons and turn around and fully kind of take in the scope of the room um, there's a, a large hearth on the uh, on the left hand side um, where the uh, the guy was running back and forth through Um where you assume is the like there's like sort of beautifully sort of earthy um veg kind of smells coming through like something is cooking and it smells great um and it's just every time the door opens you get hit with like a hot waft of just brilliant fucking food um as you momentarily take your take your mind off filling your stomachs um you see there's a small stage nestled in the, the the northeastern corner of the of the room and um, there's a blonde sort of young woman sat there and she's got got herself a little out and she's just playing this lovely sweet tune um, Duche you immediately recognize it as someone who has been trained in the arts of bardic um, bardic way um, you can see that there's a table um, to the south that are they all have food and they all have beer but they're just kind of almost entranced uh, by the performance um, and just kind of just watching her. Um, there's a, another table with a, with another woman sat on it. And she's um, having a hushed conversation with uh, with a portly gentleman um, who has the trappings of some sort of merchantry. Um, and yeah, and it's, it's gorgeous. There's just, the song is beautiful. Um, you feel yourself kind of forgetting that you're still stood there for a moment. Um, and it's really nice. Um, She's better than you. <laughs> You've actually never heard me play. <laughs> um, I know, I can just tell. It is pretty good. It is really pretty good. Um, I am going to briefly go for a wee, though. Um, so do you guys want to take a quick break before we take this any further? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Excellent. So, um, thank you for those of you who are watching. We're going to take a couple of minutes. Um, yeah. Follow and subscribe if you've got Amazon or if you've got money you don't care about. Subscribe, that'd be great. Um, we'll see you guys in 10 minutes, maybe. Maybe nice. Yeah. If I can figure nice. out which computer I'm Two using. minutes or 10 minutes? 10 minutes. I mean, it's maybe five. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see.
So, what are we doing again? We've been over this. He shows up. Grab him. Do we bag him? Um, a few quick jabs to the ribs just for good measure. He's like the band practices. He's like the sound checks. He's like the video shoots. All round, he's a bit of a cop. He's only small, but he weighs like a fucking crane. Make sure you get his legs. Where are you taking me? Gotta fucking move on. That guy is up here. Oh god, I think I've pissed myself. Twat. Oh my leg. Yeah, you can clean that. Are you being such a cunt? Sit down. Get his pants off. Why are you undressing me? Stop waving your arms around, you jelly-limbed pillock. You've been asking for this for a long time. Get his pants on. I don't think that's a shepherd's pie in my pants. <coughs> oh, that stinks. <laughs> Let's kill him. Let's fucking kill him. Let's get this over with, okay?
Go, go. And we are back. Um, so, welcome. Uh, you've, you're joining us in the rusty trombone. Um, which yeah. sounds like a euphemism, but really isn't. Um, I'm going to find a nice tavern sound, because I am really bad at this, still. Um, and don't know what, what I'm going to do. Oh, there's a lot of birds in here, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's, let's do this one. That one sounds like a good one. It's, it's peaceful. That sounds a bit too much, doesn't it? Let's go for drinking time. That sounds up our street. So, yeah, um, welcome. Um, the party have ordered some food and some drinks um, and have been just momentarily entranced by a, by a lovely bard lady um, who's finishing up some sort of song uh, in, in this coaching inn. Uh, the... Yeah, um, the, the guy comes out with... Um, with big hearty bowls of, of stew um, and uh, he says he brings it over to you and you're still stood at the bar he says, um, you guys were you guys you guys sitting down or um, do you want me to just put it here I'm just gonna wave Sorry. over from the corner that I'm sat in just go oh, oh, it's it's sort of like, yep, okay okay um, so you all you guys you say you were going over yeah I'm just going to linger yeah. a bit, just like kind of uh, da, 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 looking and at the stage a little bit. He kind of looks around and says, oh yeah, she's she's good, isn't she? She's, uh, she's been here for a couple of days. I, I wish you'd stay. Um, yeah. yeah. Del is great. Uh, what um, was her name again, did you say? Uh, Della. Della. She's, um, yeah, she's lovely. Um, her and uh, he points over to the, to the woman that's, that's um, chatting away to the to the merchants, she says, uh, "Yeah, her and her and Cecily have been been doing sets the last couple of nights, and yeah, the, like I wish we I wish they, we could afford to keep them forever, but this, they're just it's such a great atmosphere." Um, make a make an insight say uh, insight check, Douche. Yep. Oh yeah, you get right. the impression that he's quite smitten, <laughs> um, but is perhaps like. On the younger side, um, so it's like like you know, fifteen year old with a with a major crush on some some traveling mis mysterious bard lady, um, but it's 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 nice, you know. <laughs> you, you yeah, think, you think it's quite innocent for what it is, um, and uh, he says, um, "Sorry, um, you guys, you want it here, do you? Sorry, uh, we're gonna go over to our colleague over here." Uh, Okay, Della okay. and Cecily, and just make my way across. <laughs> and, he, um, and he brings uh, brings them over. Says, "Yeah, hey, they've uh, been 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 here for a couple of days. They've, I think they're looking to move on at some point, though. But uh, well, if they're here for a couple more. I'm, I'm not going to complain." And he sort of divvies out these these bowls and uh, says, "Just uh, just give us a wave if you need any need any more uh, any any booze or anything. I'll, uh, I'll sort it out." Um, and he looks over to you, going out. He says, um, "Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want a glass or anything?" Nope. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, makes his uh, makes his way around, just pattering bits over. So you guys are now in the um, in the corner um, table. It's it's like a it is like like a bench table kind of thing, um, like a picnic table kind of style um, in the corner. But you get a good view of pretty much the entire room at this point. Um, now we look more suspicious than that half orc. Uh, how loudly did you say that? <laughs> About as loudly as I said it. Okay, roll um, roll stealth with advantage then. <laughs> oh shit, with advantage. I'll yeah. Do that again then. Okay. Um, no, you. There's no. There's no response. However, you eye to your to your left a little bit, and you can see that he still just stood there. Kind of just looking around, occasionally glancing in your direction, um, but he's he's like he's like ten feet away from you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Oopsie <laughs> <Cheat. laughs> Daisy, I didn't make that clear, did I? Cheat. <laughs> um, yeah, and you can see that uh, that Della's just finishing up uh, finishing up her set. She does a couple of a couple of star standards that, that you're you're familiar with, Touche. Um, kind of the type of type of tunes that you'll you'll hear everywhere you go, um, but they're 
they're common canon for a reason um because they're they're quite effective and quite they're like the the D &D version of your mr bright side your free bird it's yeah all that kind of stuff they're just they're just kind of easy to get under your fingers and always elicit the right kind of sally you know yeah, the you usual know. Um, sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> the farmer's like Jacked on fire. Da, da, da. <laughs> um, as you know. <laughs> yeah, we take the piss now, but let's have a few beers. We'll be singing along on the table. Hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> um, but she, fin wrong. she finishes up a couple of uh, a couple of tunes um, while you guys are presumably eating. Um, you're at the table. What are you doing? Is there any 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 discussion at the uh, dinner talk or anything? How's your fucking asshole? <laughs> one, one, the new one. It's mostly healed. It's just a. Uh, it's a bit of a prick in there. Mm. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first. Yeah, thing. I know how it is. I noticed, I noticed that you're sat at an angle slightly. Well, it's so that I can put this leg up so that I'm not putting any weight on the new hole, and uh, then I'm drinking to forget what just happened to me. Yes, I must admit, it's the first time I've ever seen someone deal with an anal intrusion by sitting on it. It's definitely not the first time I've seen that. <laughs> I see you don't know me very well, Douche. It's quite a common occurrence. This offense was definitely not the best defense. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of so, that um you mind oh, go, my on, ass. go on vast do your thing what about the dwarf outside he looked a bit suspect it seemed to me to be some kind of uh door security mm. yes yeah, place like this might need some uh might need a door to keep the riffraff out and also murderous yeah. anal bastard hornets. Yes, also those. Yeah, there maybe is... He, maybe maybe go called it. For his, for like, his bum. You guys are, are keenly aware there is no local militia or town guard or anything to uh, to be seen. It's it's the farm folk, uh, of which you assume by the number of buildings, is probably a handful of families. Not nowhere, Maybe nowhere near as much as 20, um, but certainly more than 10. Um... And this is the, the the epicenter of the of the community, essentially. Um, yeah, so they're like uh, hired staff, uh, guards, kind of. Thing. Um, as all of you have um, non-human heritage, let's let's put it that way. Um, you understand that certain types of jobs are more difficult to come by um, when you when you when you're not. And you know, not human in this in the kingdom. Um, however, there is there is always work to be had if you're willing to lower your price a bit. Um, judging by what you infer from what Rogue was saying, um, that despite it doing fairly well, um, it's not they're not super well off here. Um, you think that your your day's trade alone has has brought up their. Uh, their sort of profits for the for the for the time consist you know quite quite a lot um so you would think that they would be very financially minded when it came to hiring help um make perception yeah, checks I mean, a you've lot got, of you you've got to think from when we were in dingleberry you were saying that the monthly wage in dingleberry is like a gold piece and we've just given this guy about 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay so with a 15 vast um you notice there's a passing similarity um, between the older gentleman, the younger gentleman, the one of the women, another woman who's running around serving stuff, and a an older woman um, who you can hear from the uh, from the kitchen area every now and then. She comes passing in behind the bar to whisper some things. Um, but you think that all these humans look the same? <laughs> they're very, <laughs> very obviously a family. <laughs> so they're getting some. Uh, <laughs> some from some very cheap labor out of out of out of them <laughs> as a result um but security harder to come by you don't put your family in that kind of position unless they're professionals you know so they found some uh you infer that they managed to find some slightly cheaper yet hardy folk uh to keep the peace 
and they seem to be quite um uh what's the word committed to their to their job um you haven't seen either of them slack off the orc has turned uh, the half orcs spoken to no one um though is always keenly keenly eyed um you can hear the the footsteps of the the dwarf occasionally on the on the um floorboards outside um just sort of as he's sort of patrolling the the 15 feet <laughs> of the porch that he's got um with his heavier footfalls almost almost intentionally to make it look like he he wants to remind people that he's there um it's like a passive mm. kind of thing um however at this sort of point um Della finishes up her set and moves off the off the stage to go and join the other women and the the merchant folk um who haven't stopped talking they've been quite quite huddled to a point um vast we are 15 you would infer with them that they're perhaps conducting some kind of business it's uh it's it's hard to tell what they're what they're talking about how far from the bar are they uh they are in fact you know what i'm just gonna show you uh some burps no you guys can't see anything i'm gonna need you all to drag yourselves onto this map um but i will i um, reveal things as we do. Boom. 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 What corner are we in? Uh, the bottom left. Oh shit, I've bollocks that up. Yeah, Vast is just sat on the table. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's going he's going all tender <clears throat> about you and Julius stylizing his way up it. Um right, so for the stream. He's gone all twenty nineteen me in, in the Bloodstone now, Press area. I'll show you some of this. <laughs> um well, I'll move so you don't get the logo covering all the interesting bits. Um there's a few folk that aren't represented here yet, but um are have been accounted for. Um yeah, they both the both the bards seem to be wearing quite uh not, not garish attire, but certainly more um higher quality finery in terms of like their their vivid colours of dye and stuff. Like it's very much peacocking. They're trying to attract attention. Um that as as per their um as per their, their, their profession, I guess. Um yeah, and you see, uh, you like see, carrots are out. It is good, isn't it? Uh, these are all from mm. uh, printable heroes, I think. Uh, these guys are from. Um, they were really good. Those of you that, that play D anD D in the flesh, um, they do like paper minis. Um, that if you have like a decent card stock, you can just print them off and cut them out and make standees, and they're fucking awesome. If you don't want to, if you don't want to drop like, like. <laughs> a ridiculous amount of money on a decent amount of minis. Um, they're they're fucking brilliant. I've got like a I printed off like a hundred pages worth of stuff. Um, uh, I think you, I got them like. Then you can subscribe to them on Patreon for like a, <laughs> for like a dollar a month or something, and you get access to a version on a couple of recolors of everything. Uh, a load of the stuff for free as well. So please do check them out. Um, How many of them have Nick Cage on them though? Uh, well, that's yet to be seen. Um, but yeah, printable heroes, they're great. Um, <laughs> you wonder why he got a, he got a bug up his butt. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, um, you can see that the. Um, I genuinely thought I was still on mute. I do apologize. <laughs> um, so you can see that the uh, the the Dell has come off and has engaged in the conversation um you can see that the the merchant folks sat on the other side of the table seems to be quite um quite pleased for the most part he seems quite enthusiastic um can i go to the bar here mm -hmm. yeah and try and listen in sure yeah yeah just go and sit on one of those stools so you finish do you finish up your food before you do so yeah excuse me and so what's that? Are you, sorry are you... uh the burp over <laughs> Shattered what you said. Then. Are you um? <laughs> are you finishing your food before you do, or are you just going going like leaving? It yeah, I'm just get. I've I've got got my beer in my hand and I've I've nearly finished it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to start. You know when you 
you're prepping for the you you know you're getting ready to order the next beer. Yeah, yeah. But you've yeah. still got a bit left, so you just go to the bar and finish it. Yeah, the um, stall. A handful of um, of other sort of farm folk, farm hands, um, make their way in and out. You can see that there's the um, you hear the bit of commotion outside where the dwarf is bellowing at some kids that are trying to get in. Um, <laughs> That obviously there's fuck all else to do besides fucking tipping cows and drinking beer. So I mean they're they're all out of cows, <laughs> um, presumably. <laughs> Is family are based in Scotland? No, I mean in fairness, admittedly, all of my NPCs have had a have had a distinct would be, distinct that, no, regional that would, accent. That would be coos, not <laughs> no. Um, coos. Yeah, and uh, she make your way towards uh, towards the bar. Um, the the barman leads over. and says, uh, "You uh, you want another one, or um, are you?" Eyes. Yes, I would. I yep. do want another one. But just give me a moment while I finish this. Because uh, same again, or uh, I can get it ready, or um, what what else do you have? He says, uh, "We've got uh, we've got this. You, you're drinking the." You're drinking dog. the uh, yeah the the repose right. Um, we've got we've got the flying dog. Um, we've got um, a flying dog. Flying dog. Okay. So uh, right. That's uh, that's the wheat beer. I'll go and go and get that. Um, he turns around. Please he see, sees a number of Please number of casks. Um, you. Starts pouring you pouring you a drink. Um, the presumed presumed daughter next to him goes. I'm so sorry. He's always like this. It's fine. Um, and I'm trying goes, to listen, like stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> she shuffles off into the into the kitchen um, to uh, to help with something, presumably. Um, you're listening in. Um, make a perception check. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to ping there. Oh, excuse me. Perception check. Mm-hmm. They're being quite quite hushed. It's difficult to tell. Um, you hear more of what the merchant's saying than what they're saying, more than anything. Um, he says, uh, so, first, first light tomorrow then, yeah? And they, they nod, and he says, well, excellent, excellent. And he, he, he whisper forward, lean forward, and says, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And he takes out a, um, a quite chunky coin purse, um, and begins sort of stacking coins up. And she says, uh, "Yep, there you. That's that's for you." He slides it across the table, pulls his drawstring on it, and puts it back in his uh, in his uh, in his pockets. Um, they uh, take it and put it into their into their coin purses. Um, no euphemisms, please. <coughs> and it's around that time you hear a thunk behind you. It says, "There you go. Uh, one one flying dog. I'll add that to the tab. Yeah." Thank you very much. Oh, you're Finish. welcome. Uh, and he well, leans I've over. Got, put it down he, and pick up the other one. He leans over and says, um, "So, uh, yeah, no, thank you for uh, for coming. Uh, name's name's Ted. Uh, this is uh, this is this is my inn. Um, it's, uh, we don't get we don't get nearly as much business as we used to, but like, I'm really really grateful that we we get so such colourful folk coming through. Um, really really making my day. Um, well, thank you, Ted. My name is Vastificus Care. Oh, exotic. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, have a look. A lovely establishment. Now I must go back to my friends. Yep, yep. Okay. Well, uh, just just give us a give us a holler if you want any more of uh, more of the hard stuff. You know, uh, we got we got some got some whiskey. Uh, we've got some 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 wine. Uh, we've got some some uh, other other bits. I'm sure. Ted. I could, I'm sure, yeah. Ted. Yeah, Ted. Yep. 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 Um, it's fine. It's fine. And I turn around. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk <laughs> this way. Ted talks, and he just kind of just see if. <laughs> Ted, t- t- this is my TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you guys would catch that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it, but well. <laughs> uh, I'm going to walk over to here, mm-hmm. and then uh, sort of faint that actually this isn't my table. Maybe I've had more than I thought I had. I'm go this way and see if I can catch any more of the conversation while I'm doing it. Yeah, uh, roll a further perception check. Oh, fuck. 
as um as you kind of saunter into into the into their sort of view, um, you do that thing that you know, like when you when you like you forget something, you're like, oh, and you turn round and like you've like. You'd, and you start walking the other way down a street, you know, like you're trying to, yeah. trying to feign it, and it isn't. It's, when you it's, when you miss a bus, yeah, oh, it's 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 obvious that you <laughs> it was, it was somewhat intentional, probably. Um, and as you kind of draw close, you see the the two two girls kind of look up at you and kind of noticeably don't say anything before returning to their conversation, perhaps a little closer um, than they were previously. When I catch their eye, can I be like, can I go to them and just be like, sorry, I just, I, I came here on purpose. I wanted to say how much I enjoyed the set. So it was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you kind of like start walking and go, actually. <laughs> and the, the two girls are like, yeah, yeah, well, um, I'm glad you, glad you like it. Um, you know, it's always, always nice to meet a fan. Um, you can buy us a drink. Are you playing you here again soon? Oh yes, well of course. What are you drinking? Uh, dogs for us, please. And the merchant goes, um, if you're if you're buying, um, I'll have a. I, I've already walked to the bar. I <laughs> Ted, <laughs> Ted's like, hey, vast, um, you back like, do you forget two something? dogs for the ladies, please, Ted. And he, they. He leans over and he, they look at him and she, they kind of just go, put a put a finger up, um, and he goes, "Yep, yeah, sure, they'll uh, they'll get those when they're when they're done." In the middle of the bar, what they put a finger up at him? No, like a singular finger like that. Oh, right. Um, right. Douche, make a perception check, please. I have an idea of what this might be. Uh, give me just a second. In fact, do it with advantage because you're. You're a bard. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what's going on. Yeah, um, so perception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You you understand very much that this is like they've got coffers behind the bar that whenever people buy them drinks, they just put the money in there instead as their sort of unintentional yeah. tip jar. Um, he says, uh, "Well, that'll be that'll be four silver for the uh, for the ladies." Um, You want to put it on the tab? I mean, we can do if you want. Uh, it's like uh, it's five five and a half gold for for the board, uh, the 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 food and your drinks so far, not including the 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 rum. Um, so you're gonna be okay. <laughs> he notices that I doubt it very much. He notices that Gonad's <laughs> looking quite uncomfortable in comparison. Um, but yeah, well, he I got mean, some. He got some very sharp pricks of his ass. Ah, prick! What are you doing? And he goes, no, no, oh, that wasn't, wasn't me. <laughs> this, this one is no way, no way nearly sharp. <laughs> oh man, it's all coming together. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, and he goes, oh, oh, well, f f says, all right, sorry, wrong prick. Um, oh, I hope he's okay. Um, if he, just, li just let me how, know. If he... how, so, this is a point of interest. Yep. How drunk do you think I am at this point? Uh, how much have you had to drink? I've been like pretty much just constantly like I've been like holding holding it over my arm like that and just like sort of tipping it into my mouth. So it's um, like, you know, like you know, like those one of those, those waving cats. You know, like those beer kegs you, you can get that you can take to festivals that like fucking foam everywhere and are really annoying. Um, oh, yeah, it's like that, but it's filled with rum. Um, it doesn't. It's got like a, a. It's got a very small kind of cork hole in the top of it that you like thunks out, and you can you can pour it into you. And it doesn't have like a dispensary tap necessarily. Um, it's almost yeah, like it's, that's fine. That's that. That's what I was thinking anyway. Okay. So I'm literally just holding it so that the so that the cork hole is near enough my mouth so that I can just. So you just. Like a, like, like, a, like a drinking bird, but with but with rum and gravity doing it instead. Okay. Excellent. So, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much. I would say probably a pint of rum in this time. <laughs> oh, oh. A pint of rum. Yeah, I mean, you guys have finished a beer in the time he sat there drinking straight from a keg. To so be I fair, mean... he's not far wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I would, say, I would say you're quite squiffy at this point. Um, I've got Jesus. some... 
I've got okay. some kind uh, I'll of. Set, I'll set the keg down on the table and uh, yeah. just tap on tap it on top. You're not um, you're not pissed by uh, like in the sense that like you're you're gonna pass out soon, but like you're definitely feeling the uh, feeling the effects, the 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 exuberance of of being tipsy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Witty's Whit has got the exact same wavelength as me right there. <laughs> Wondering uh, what return, the best way to get to that table is. <laughs> I'll return the drinks. Yep. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll go I'll go in the middle of them and place the drinks down. Uh, make a... Oh, he's going to bring the drinks to them. No, no, make a perception check. Mm, mm. Who, me? Yep. You notice the hue is slightly different to the one that you have, despite all being flying dogs. Um, theirs is considerably paler and almost translucent in comparison. Hmm. Looks like he's poor jaws wrong, but I'll go back. Sorry. I mean, no, no, this is this is this is fine. Um, no, I I insist. It's fine. I'll make it. I'll make make a good, good start. Ted, what's going on? You fuck. Like, what are you <laughs> fucking with me for? What? No. What? And you see the. <laughs> Why is it? Different? You see the the half um, the half orc orc begins to sort of like stir a little. Uh, Given like, that those I've of you um, that are at the table, um, Ted's like, I'm just I'm just getting okay, so, what, what they asked. So while he's um, doing this, what you? Yeah. <laughs> while, he, while he's doing this, and he's uh, he's he's facing off with the bartender, I'm gonna. Take my barrel of rum and start staggering, uh, way drunker than I than I am. Okay, but just to, to prove a point, and I'm just gonna like stagger like this straight past the half orcs line of sight. Okay, roll a performance check, Douche, What are you doing? Um, so I've already perceived, obviously, their sort of notification to the bar uh, the, and everything like that. So. Seeing Vast make an ultimate, I'm just going to make a beeline to Vast uh -huh. uh, with a view to give him a brief education of how um, bardic stuff works. Yep. yep. Um, <laughs> okay. That's that's absolutely fine. Waka, you um, you realize that there's still a number of um, trenchers uh, that are be mostly untouched, um, as in like like small baguettes that have been sort of hewn out, um, and they're used as like bowls um, for the for stew and stuff. Um, the guys have just kind of left some of it <laughs> uh, while you're there. Um, you're nearly out of beer, noticeably. Um, okay, well, I've, I've been kind of keeping an eye on that half orc in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just kind of casually watching everything else that's going on, but kind of doing the same as what he's doing, just watching the room, okay. but watching him as well. But <laughs> I'm gonna seeing as he's. Um, Seeing as well of these bowls of stew have gone, I'm just going to grab the nearest one to me. Um, I believe it was Vast. Yep. Um, and just just down it. Yeah, I mean, it's like the most of the stew is gone, but the 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 bowls themselves are cr a crusty bread rolls that have been hewn out, basically. I'm, I'm, I'm um, down so you can just I'm, I'm just the lot, mate. It's chomp. Gone. It's gone. Um, the half orc um, sees you, Gonad, um, unsurprisingly, uh, by your. You're floating around, <laughs> and um, that's just... that's 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 the best that I could do for staggering around drunkenly. No, that's that's just fine. My token it's fine. It just, it's just like you were just fizzing around him. Um, he sort of grabs you, your your shoulder, and he goes, "Hey, don't be fucking around." I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. I've had a bit much to drink. I'll be on my way. He looks at you again. I'm gonna start walking. He looks, he looks at you as as you. No, he's got. <laughs> He's got a hold of you by the shoulder. He says, "Stop!" I'm gonna stop trying to walk that way. <laughs> he just sort of grabs you and says, "Then stop fucking around." Okay, <laughs> if you insist. He lets go, and off I fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Duche, you you've made it to the to the yeah. bar. <laughs> Uh, so I just come up and say, Vast, um, it's okay. Let me guess. You ordered the two ladies a drink, and the drink you got wasn't quite what you were expecting uh, to receive. No, oh, you see that from all the way over there. Interesting. 
Well, no, because I would have noted that you went to put the drinks down and sort of looked at them and gone, what the hell, and gone back. No, I said that in character. Uh, I know all right, okay. Um, <laughs> you just did, you yes, just did have um, your vast voice on. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, I, was, I was paying attention lest one of you will yet again make a gaffe that gets us into trouble again. See, th- bards are always working, and when we're working, we don't necessarily want to get drunk. So there's a little unspoken rules that I may let you know of later, but trust me, the drinks are fine. It's exactly what the ladies ordered. Everything's fine. Go take the drinks over. I'll be over in a moment. That makes no fucking sense, but okay. Okay. And uh, Ted looks at you and sort of just mouths, Thank you. You're welcome. He, he kind of leans over a bit in the choir and he's like, your, um, your red friend's got a, got a bit of a temper on him. Um, Tieflings. Yeah, they're, uh, uh, they're wired that way. Just be careful uh, that, my, that he doesn't piss off my boys. I don't, I don't think they'd take kindly to, to him threatening me again, yeah? We have taken note of your boys and their excellent work and we shall endeavour to make sure no ruckus this evening. Thank you, Ted. Uh, while we're at it, uh, could we put another two drinks uh, for the ladies uh, on the tab, if you will? Same round again, dog, okay, yeah, yes? Okay, yep, 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 that's absolutely fine. We can uh, we can do that, we can do that. Um, Love it's, it. It's, uh, it's up to up to about six gold at this point. Um, don't mean to be, to be rude, but you guys are... Um, Good for it, right? Um, I see this other, this other big one had had a big flashy sword on him. Like you guys are, uh, you're not, you're not. I'll uh, just for the sake of the assery that has happened between <laughs> the guys, I'm gonna slide just um, just gonna slide a gold across the table, just as like a we're good for the money, but okay, here yeah. to put your mind at ease. A yeah. down payment, if you will, on the tap. And he, he takes his, uh, much, much appreciate that. Um, slashes it away um, in the same place that you saw um, in putting Godard's money earlier. Um, That's this is uh, two more, two more dogs for the ladies coming up. Thank you so much. I'm going to make my way over to the table with the ladies and just see if anyone else wants to like. Okay. Yeah, I was already, yeah. I was already walking over there after my incident. I'm just gonna plunk my barrel down on the table, sit down, and go, "Hello, funk," and um, then just not say anything else. The um, the merchant, uh, uh merchant looks checks. around and he's like, "Um, oh well, he- hello. Um, are these friends of yours?" And the you can see them both kind of inf- like make uh, make insight checks actually. Um, those of you that are at that table, um. Waka, you can make one with disadvantage for uh, for the range. Um, yeah. Gonad, you almost catch them sigh. <laughs> um, sigh, and they just kind of <laughs> take a breath. Hey. So they're um, they're not our friends yet, but um, I'm sure we could be uh, I'm sure we can come. We can get to that point. Uh, I'll just sort of lean over and just say, we apologise for the interference. Uh, one bard to another, and I'll just sort of bow, but lean over just to sort of show my loot a little bit. To sort of... Euphemism? Yeah. Euphemism, <laughs> yeah. Euphemism, well, yeah. Get your, get your yeah, twanger yeah. out for the lads. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, they, they, you see them noticeably relax a little bit. Oh, thank God. Well, yes, uh, um... <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate that. Um... Apologies for my comrades. In way of recompense, I have ordered uh, another two of your regular drinks with a sort of knowing nod to the barman. Um, placed on our tab, of course. She, um, what, uh, Della kind of gives you like a little little flick. Um, says, oh, thank you. Um, so we're going to be, we're, we're doing, we're doing well today, Sess. She's like, aye, that, that's, that's, it's not bad at all. Um, looking around, you see that the the bar is beginning to, to fill up again. There's more like sort of farm hands coming in and stuff as as before, and it's just it, the, some of the, the other table is now is now full. I'll, I'll put people on it in a second. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Sess gets up, she says, um, "I suppose it's uh, <clears throat> I suppose it's my time, eh?" And uh, makes her way onto the onto the stage and uh, begins just just absentmindedly playing a few tunes. Um, she's not singing particularly or anything, but there's it's just uh, no. providing an ambience more than anything. 
Um, uh, while she's while she's doing that, I'm just going to sort of to sort of ease off the rudeness. <laughs> I'm going to just look up and go. Oh, my apologies, good sir. Is this your patron? Uh, sort of looking to oh, Dello, just saying. Um, is this your patron? Uh, well, he is for the next couple of days. Uh, aren't we, Lord? And she, he goes, yeah. Well, um, I've uh, I've 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 acquired their um their their patronage for uh well they've they've acquired my patronage for uh for a few days travel um uh we're we're heading heading eastwards it's gonna be gonna be gonna be great it's uh it's always nice to have a few a bit a bit of levity particularly uh some some blades as fine as theirs you know um herpes uh further further field we're gonna stop off at herpes yeah um maybe maybe head down towards um through prost and down past uh, Bonerheim and into the into the Esticle, um, hopefully. Oh. <laughs> Down past Very West, exotic. <laughs> Bonerheim. Bonerheim, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, great trade, great great forestry down there. Um, they're always after after some good tools. Um, but these uh, these ladies are gonna gonna accompany me and my me and my boys. Um, Who are your boys? Oh, they're they're out doing doing a bit of, doing a bit of hunting. Um, and Della turns around and says, "Yeah, one of them's uh taking a bit, a bit of a shine to to Cecily, but uh, but yeah, they're um they're 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 coming out. Uh, they'll be back a couple hours probably." Okay, uh, hunting, you say? Don't suppose they've come across any owl bears of late, have they? Uh, not they haven't said. Um, but the, you know they they abs- I've absolutely seen them do it. Um, says the says the merchant. Um, so they're they're capable folk. Um, for sure, they. I don't. I don't think they. They would. They would. They would trouble them much. Um, so meat's often a bit, a bit yeah. gamey for for owl bears. Um, but maybe you know. Certainly, and uh, so did just uh, out of game. Did they say Lord the? Yeah. 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 Okay. And um, wonderful. And uh, if I may ask, Lord, your your last name to know where you hail from. Uh, it's Ames. Ames. Lord Lord Arid Ames. Yeah. Uh, we're. Yeah, uh, I'm a simple merchant, but uh, once my family were, were uh, were quite up there. Um, you know, we had had our own land. Yes, uh, I know how you feel. And he's like, oh, <laughs> it's a lot of rum. My, do you mind? It was a lot of rum. It's significantly less. No, no, go ahead, please. Be my yeah, guest. You see, and he looks around for for an empty mug and says, um, pours out a hearty sample. Like, they keep telling me that to get this. It's uh, it's it's quite quite something. And he takes a sip. He says, mm, it's, it's very quite very fantastic. Mm, you can really taste the good berries. It's really uh, really tangy. Oh, how how odd. Um, sorry. Yes. What uh, you. Well, you you landed yourself. You part of the part of the gentry. Um, unusual unusual attire for for a lord. I'm a but, I mean, who am I to judge? This is um. Uh, I, I'm a thymar, or at least I I was a thymar. I've uh, not seen them in a while. Keeps playing this card for some reason. Yeah, uh, it's it's, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a it's a bold name for sure. Um, was they um. They they had a, they had sons. Um, as far as I'm aware, there was a big big hub about one of them one of them dying a couple of years back. But like that's a that's a it's an odd name to to decide to to go with. That's enough out of you. Okay. Um, your friend's weird. Um, yes, they're all quite awful in a myriad different ways. No less when they're drunk. <laughs> and he uh, he takes the room. He says, "Well, um." Thank you for uh, for for the tipple, um, Della. I'll uh, tomorrow. Uh, like and she says, well, I'm gonna be around. You're not going anywhere. She says, yeah, I know, but um, it's just uh, it's suddenly a little more more crowded here than than it than it was five minutes ago. Um, and he knocks the drink back and heads to the bar. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to follow him. Uh-huh. I've got some questions I need to ask. Okay. 
Um, are so you he's... leaving the room? Are you... Yeah, are you leaving the room? God, no. <laughs> so you're taking the room back. <laughs> Um, you see him. You see he's ordering. Well, while a... is going on, um, I've also finished off my pint and mm-hmm. another one of the stew balls. Okay, just crunching <laughs> through all of this, all of this bread. Um, you're 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 having a great day. Uh, <laughs> like I, I, I also need to have a pint now, so okay. I'm gonna go and get a pint. That's that's absolutely fine. So um, as you both approach the bar, um, you can see the the uh, Arid's already chatting away at the um. To, to Ted and they're he's he's ordering ordering himself a, a drink. Um and you see him and he pulls out pulls out a couple of coins. Um make a perception check please. Uh both of you, but no, no, Waka it wouldn't mean anything to you if it did. Um go and I'd make a perception check. Sixteen. You notice on his on his hands as he's putting the coins in the bar, there is an un- unmistakable band of rings. On his uh, tattooed on his on his index finger. Can do it. Okay. Now I need to double check before I tell you the specifics, but unmistakable band. Um. Yeah. So carry on. Or do you want me to to divulge that information first? Um, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna lean in and say, I think you and I need to talk about some things. I have many questions that I think you may have the answers to. Yeah, um, he's like, he turns around and says, I, that's kind of a weird thing to, to tell someone. Um, <laughs> that's, um, oh, your friend's big. Um. Don't worry about him. He'll be gone in a minute. He just wants more beer. (laughs) Um, You can see he's. I'm invested now. I'm interested. You see him. He's making a. He's he's noticeably um, flustered. He's like I'm. I I mean, I'm not. What what kind of kind of questions? It's it's a. What? I'm gonna look down. I'm gonna look at the banding on his hand. Why is it not letting me look Um, at it? (laughs) There we go. Oh shit! I've opened Cubase on my computer by accident. Oh, well, <laughs> if, um, if things get a little computer bit, crashes if things get a 10, little bit weird, then I'll be why. Yeah, <laughs> let's close that window and see what happens, um, so it doesn't get too too funky. Um, let's see. You, Ruthie <clears throat> Collins. You recognise that the band of rings are open, uh, open circles. Um, so there's uh, like. Like if you're if you're going to tattoo in a ring, but you left you didn't fill it in. Um, you understand yeah. that that implies a uh, smuggler, or uh, yeah, yeah, smugglers for for that sort of characteristic. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna show him a, a series of hand tattoos that I have myself and just say I have some questions and you almost definitely have some answers. And he notices the the crosses on your two fingers. You've got one on each. Um just on the bottom bottom nub of your of your fing- of your hand. Um and you see him sort of his demeanour completely changes. Um he's like, oh well I didn't think you were gonna be that one. Okay. You see why I had to silence you now? Hey, when you brought it up. I didn't think that was common knowledge, though. Well, we're we're not we're not common acquaintances, so uh, yeah. You know, who knows? People have been looking for you, you know. I know. I'm searching for somebody myself, and. Uh, I have a feeling he might have passed through some of your own. Well, um, you know, every and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean in and whisper a name to the smuggler. Mm-hmm. Uh, I presume it's the name that I think it is. And it's absolutely the name that yep. you think it is. Yeah, he, uh, he immediately sort of 
looks round at you, confused. He says, no, he's, he's been gone for, for a while now. Um, took up oh. and left, but the it's kind of people, the stories that he went mad briefly. Um, wasn't himself, but the uh, yeah, up and left. Um, it's not been hide or tail of him for probably probably close to a year at this point. Um, the rest of the operation has been taken over by by the some of the others, as far as I'm aware. Um, not that they tell me much, but. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you know of his most recent whereabouts? Even if it was a year ago, anything could help. I mean, you know as well as I do, it's not, they don't exactly disclose their location too often. But um, let's say most of the chatter was coming out out of Prost a while ago. But that's unsurprising. There's more of us there. Just let me know if you need any more rum. Or anything. You've been more helpful than I could possibly have th- no, hoped for. So, thank you. I'm just going to walk back over to the table and start drinking. And he, he turns around and he's back to his... his he kind of locks eyes with you, Waka, as, uh, as Duche kind of dodges out the way. And he's like, um, yeah, just just fill, fill the... fill the Yeah, go ahead. My bad. I keep doing that. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, he turns around <laughs> and he's like, just, uh, just, just, just fill it up. Um, I'll... Uh, um, and he goes, this is, um, yeah, I'll have a, of the, one of the, one of the reposes, actually. I think, uh, I think I need a drink. Um, uh, Waka, make a perception check. Yeah, you caught pretty much all of that conversation. Though, mm-hmm. it, what it means is not entirely obvious to you. So I'm kind of uh, just eyeing this guy at the moment. Yeah. Um, knowingly, but not knowingly. And uh, you see him, he kind of just leans back and looks at you with the drinks. Um, uh, hi. Um, hi. And Ted comes over and says, Ah! What are you having? No, oh, I've just knocked something off my. Okay, well. <laughs> this is all kind of that way. Was it you or Ted or both? I'm going to say both because it's perfect. <laughs> He's like, oh, what? What can? What, what would you like? Oh. oh Why are all the barmen in this based on you? It's almost like almost like it's the only barman I know. <laughs> because you know we don't get to go out. We we get to, we we're only here to serve. So uh, I'll have another pint, we said, and uh, yeah, uh, the the dark stuff, or um, you want uh, want something else? Yeah, I'll stay on the dark stuff. Yeah, yeah, cool. uh, another gentle repose uh, on on the and he does like, the finger guns on the on the tab. On the tab. On the tab. Okay. All right. All right. And he turns around, starts like fussing around, gets your beer, plunks it on the on the table, uh, on the bar for you. The stare back at. Uh, Stare back at this other guy. And you, see, you can see him. He's just—he's not—he's not moved really. He's just kind of just drinking, and shiftily sort of looking around. And says, um, "It's a nice, nice weather we're having. Um, <laughs> it's mm, a bit buggy at times. Oh, very much so. The heat drives drives them crazy. Um, oh, look at that. The sun's gone down. Um, oh well, probably should." Should just go up, off off to bed with me. Um, Probably should. Um, Bye. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't move. He just he's he, got a full drink. Yeah. <laughs> he's just he, he doesn't. <laughs> Waka he doesn't, Waka suddenly turned into one of the mean girls. He's just like, you can't sit with us. Yeah, um, the thing is, he doesn't he doesn't make a move at all. He just kind of just swings around and sort of. Kind of almost like, <laughs> like completely diverts his gaze from you. Um, so drinking away. He's not drinking very fast, but you can tell he wants to. He's trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll just kind of walk, just like lean over, just nudge his glass, and say, "Have one on me now." Oh, and then walk. Oh. And Ted sort of looks around and says, "On the tap." 
Yes, on his tab, yes. Eric, do you want... He's like, yep, yep, I'll have a... I'll have a whiskey, I think. And he's like, yep, okay, some <laughs> of the uh, some of the bloodhound coming up. And, uh, and you see him, he's still got like in, like an easy half pint. And he starts just drinking it. And he's just, it's becoming more and more horizontal. Um, but you can see he's starting to noticeably struggle by the last bit of it. And he's just like big, hearty gulps. And his eyes are starting to go. And he's just... Like, like he's chewing tar to get through the bottom of it, you know? Um, and uh, that is he sort of gets the... But do I notice any of this is happening, by the way? Because I'll be I'll be facing the bar from where a, I am because my foot will be on the table. Make a perception check if you'd like. Excuse me. Yeah, um, you can you can absolutely see everything that's going on. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to shout across the bar. Where can I leave the poor man be? In, Why? Uh, it's so much fun. He sputters briefly. There's reasons. <clears throat> You've got reasons. Some. You said reasons, not raisins. He finishes it uh... off. Puts, uh, puts his tankard on the table. Grabs the uh, the bloodhound and, uh, and sort of just... Puts it on the table and just saunters off into the... Uh, to the corridor. Give him, I give him one of these as he goes. I just like it. He yeah, um, ruffles his collar a little bit. You nervous, saw that, mate. Nervously nods at you um, <laughs> as he makes his way into this corridor. Mm. I'm going to show some of this to you guys just so you got more of an idea of what kind of layout is even you would have seen. There you go. I'm just going to give Gonad a, a glance from over over at the bar from the bar and just a, a nod and like a... As if I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> well, just sipping my pint. Still watching that half orc, though. You're not making a deception check, Bill. No? Uh, oh. Didn't hear that bit. Of sorry, time. buddy. That's yeah, right. <laughs> I'll forgive you. I just want to see if Gonad buys it. <laughs> go now, make it. One. Go now, make an insight check. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's perception. What's your what's your charisma bonus? Uh, what's your, what's your what's your deception bonus? Actually, sorry. Deception. Um, my deception bonus. I don't get a bonus to deception. Okay, so that'll be eighteen then, rather than twenty-one. Um, roll an insight, okay. please. Go <laughs> yeah. You're surprised, yeah. considering. <laughs> You, you think in my defense, up, I'm up wasted. You think he might actually? <laughs> you think he might actually be more more hooked up than he's ever let on? Um, okay, I've, I've got to run over to the bar <laughs> <laughs> take your with this new knowledge that he knows. Oh yeah, did you take your? Room because room I'm, it's always, it's always, it's always in my hand. Like I'm, literally, I'm holding it like a baby. Can I like, take it like off a baby? Him? As he goes, is he drunk? Is he drunk enough? Is he drunk enough to what? Sorry. Take the keg I could just take take the keg off him as he leaves. You can attempt to uh, make a yeah. oh, make <laughs> make um, an unarmed strike. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, okay. I mean, I'm trying uh, like it's. If, oh, yeah, it's you a, can't mage hand your way out of this one. It's a it's a grapple check essentially, isn't it? You're trying to you're trying to grab something from him. He's just not letting you do it. Um, what's your AC? Go ahead. It's fourteen, isn't it? Fifteen. Oh. Like you, you claw at it um, briefly to try and try. And, like, Since oh, when was it fifteen? It was fourteen last time. Are you lying? That's what I thought. Why is it saying fifteen? Are you wait, wait, white line bar. Have, white, probably getting it wrong oh, this whole time. Possibly. I mean, that's oh. that's on you, man. <laughs> if you want to pretend your AC is fourteen and let people hit you? That's that's very Morpheus of you. <laughs> yeah. The only people, the person that. It, it, Oh my god, I know exactly why that is. I didn't have my armor equipped on D&D Beyond. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, it is actually 15. No, bro. <laughs> I was just thinking, has he got a plus one when it comes to like booze retention? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fun background. No, I'm just an it? idiot and forgot to equip my armor on D&D Beyond. Amazing. <laughs> this is the moment where everyone else is like, actually, I should probably double check. <laughs> 
Um, but I think, uh, I think you're all yeah, okay. So I just sidestep him. I just sidestep him and bolt. <laughs> yeah, you, you rake at the... the you and, but find nothing but air, sadly. Um, if he's, he's very nimble for a man who had an insect up his butt. Like a Lord of the Rings movie ago. <laughs> wait, wait. Standard or extended? Standard. Oh, yeah, not long then. I mean, they are playing charlatans. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> <laughs> so of course they're going to watch. The I'm going to, I'm going to run, I'm going to run up to the bar, slam my rum down, and go. What do you know? Um, Ted's like, um, I'm visibly panicked. Do you want a, <laughs> do you want a glass? Um, no, no, I don't, I don't... no, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking to worker. Yeah, I'm talking Ted, to worker. Ted's still he, like, he what's going nod. on? <laughs> like, why are you all so angry? All right. Not now, Ted! <laughs> and you see him and he just sort of just runs yeah. off into the uh, into the kitchen. Uh, one of the girls. See what you're doing, you're scared, Ted. How am I supposed to get more beer now? Uh, in fact, tell me can, what you know and you can probably see into, talk the, about into the kitchen from there. Uh, that, like that. What I know? Well, um,. First off, um, I know two plus two equals four. Uh, I know I can swing a sword. Um, I know how many gold we've uh, so got, got so far on the tab. Actually, I don't. That's a lie. Uh, what else? What else do you? Thank want God, to just. <laughs> Thank God, you're still an alabaster simpleton. I'm just going to walk back to the table. Need to roll a deception check for that. <laughs> I mean, you could if you want, but I don't think you were lying. <laughs> <laughs> you know you could make a persuasion if you were going to try and convince him and conceal something like that by omitting the no. truth but that seemed no, very honest I, to I, me it, it, it did my ju- it did its job yep <laughs> the um the half orc kind of is is eyeing you and he says i said no funny business stop fucking around that wasn't funny there's mate. nothing funny <laughs> about that See, sort of halfway around, they, they, the dwarf sort of eyes in, um, and sort of takes stock of everybody. Nobody's really stood up in anger. Just gonna so look just... at the dwarf, dead, glassy-eyed, very drunk, and just go, "Hello." Yeah, it's <laughs> always one. He nods, he nods back. He's like, <laughs> "All right, <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm just turn, gonna sit and drink." He turns around and just starts mumbling under his breath. Um, vast, make a make a perception check. Being closest to the door, and you just hear him like, oh, "Fucking way, fucking rubes." Yeah, no problem, man. He's like, "There's always some fucking, fucking rubes there." It's like fucking, and he's just stomping around. It's like, why are they always like this? Man, a fucking shit job. Fucking, 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 <laughs> fucking what? Rubes. What did he say? Rubes, like your country rubes. bumpkins. Mm. Bumpkins. Yeah. For security staff at a bar, they seem to be really, you know, thrown by drunk people. Yeah, I mean, it's when <laughs> when people's voices get raised. It's when you know they're they've actively shouted at the the barkeeper and he's ran away. <laughs> like, you know, he's not in not in harm's way, but you know. Yeah, uh, no, that's true. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly walk back over here and just uh, just apologize. <laughs> And she's uh she stood there and she's like, well, I'd I'd I have to be honest with you. I'm truly sorry. There was there was a matter of urgency and well, Ted talks a, a lot. <laughs> yeah, we, we we know we know. Why do you think we got the bars to try and shut him up? Um, at least at least drown him out. We didn't have to shout at him. What are you? Some I'd, kind of I'd, fucking some kind of psycho. I. I Yes, but that's not the point. I just want to. I just want to uh, to apologise for my actions. Well, Sorry. So you can. Uh, be you, calm. Can, you can start by buying buying a couple more drinks. I'll take another another dog. Another dog it is, and uh, starts getting to it. The rest I'm of the outside talk to the dwarf. Yep. Vasta uh, makes his way out. Dusha, you were left alone with uh, an illustrious Della. Um, Sess is still <laughs> Sess is still very much doing her job. Um, the moment you've oh, been waiting. No. 
So, Bus, hey. uh, why are you... How dare you impugn my <laughs> honour? <laughs> um, so, yeah, Vast, you go outside, and the, the dwarf is somewhat settled, but he's just looking around, keeping an eye on things. Um, see, he's got a, he's got himself a, like a, a, a bit of pipe weed. He's beginning to, to prepare. What a lovely evening. Aye, it's a good time, of, good time of the year for it. Um, I help you? No, I just um, just wanted a bit of fresh air. I heard Aye. you getting a little flustered. I think uh, I think your uh, your your weird mate might need a might need a bit of air as well. But I'd rather not have to drag him, you know. So, Which one are you talking about? The um, the loud one. Which one? Which one are you talking about? He, he leans over. <laughs> <laughs> he goes over and he points out, points towards the bar, and you know, and sees that Gonad has just made his way over there. Um, this is I. Oh, the elf. Not, not the green one, I. The, the pointy one, I. Just uh, you know, that's mm. a. If it were up to me, I wouldn't have given him an entire cask of rum, but you know. It's a. He took a lot um, up the arse earlier today. I think he's. Um, it's taking their frustration out. Well, you know, takes all sorts. Uh, he's uh, fair enough. Sort of lights up his we- his pipe weed. He says, "I thought he would have been happier." To be honest, oh, I think he is happy. He just expresses it strangely with rum. Aye, that it, it's, it's an odd, fun. it's an odd, odd drink, but I. Yeah, uh, like rum and bum fun does seem to be the uh, seem to be the order sometimes, eh? Mm-hmm. How long have you worked here? Uh, a couple of seasons, you know. We uh, can't get the hankering to to move on, but um, it's easy work out here. No one really normally gives us any trouble. Um, but me and Hack, we're uh, yeah, we've been uh, been here for for. Three seasons, I think, roughly, give or take. Probably be Max the other green one. Aye, big fucker. But uh, I can take him in a in a in, a, in an arm wrestle, though. He's a he's an unlucky sort sometimes, but <clears throat> he punches good. Good to know. How about you? It's not often we see some uh, some devilkin around these parts. Though, uh, yes. You're all kind of a colour a colourful bunch to be honest. It's hard to go around these parts without getting some strange looks, I must admit. Ah, that's true. But <clears throat> I suppose that's why uh why we're stuck out in the arse end of nowhere instead of living up in a in some sort of mansion somewhere or back in back in the in the halls somewhere. It's just much better than fucking being in the military though. Screw that. Hey, listen up, I've got a question. I saw, or rather we saw on the way here, a ship, or sorry, a boat, disappear. Into Why? The, to the cliffside. What, what was that about? Really depends. Could be could be the rum. Uh, looking at, <laughs> looking back through the uh, through the window. Um, could be rum. Could be... Might have been wine at that time, maybe. Perhaps, hi. Um, could be mirages. Or could cheese. Be, could be cheese. I mean, cheese? We had a lot of cheese. Yeah, it was a bit weird today, yesterday. Or today. What day is it? Yes. Cheese. Oh, well. well. <laughs> Takes all sorts. I mean, I wouldn't be... That's my favourite sentence ever. That's how I wake up every morning. <laughs> He's like, he goes, um, if I was uh, if I was drinking a lot of wine and eating a lot of cheese, I wouldn't be so up for bum fun myself, but all right. Um... <laughs> Well, you don't. You've obviously never lived. Um, yeah, evident, evidently, um, a ship disappearing. Eh? Well, could be, could be fishermen. Could be, I don't know we hidey hole. Sometimes they, they, you know, the cliffs are cliffs. I was thinking there's some sort of piracy cove, maybe. I maybe, though. Uh, I can't say I know anything about it. Mm, okay. 
So uh, there's all all sorts of all sorts of people come out, out this way not to be noticed. So uh, I, you know, if that were my sort of business, I'd be taking advantage of it too. Well, anyway, yeah, tomorrow we're taking the north road. Why? Let's fuck yes. all up that way. What are you doing up that? You're not you're not foresters, are you? You're not. Up. Oh. <laughs> Oh, is that where the foresters are? We well, I mean, there's pl that. plenty of wood up um, there, that way. Some of it's pretty good. So you do yeah, like wood up that yeah, way. And he doesn't like bum fun. <laughs> <laughs> I will, you know, occasionally find some good pipe weed up that way. Anything we should worry about on the north road? Oh, the road itself's all right. A bit, a bit, a bit wild. A bit overgrown in places. Doesn't see a lot of... Uh, a lot of folk. Can't say you'd probably expect much banditry or out up that way. Nobody to steal from. Uh, other than wild fauna, maybe maybe lay off the cheese. Um, be alright, I reckon. I don't think I will. Okay, well, that's, suit yourself. He just smokes away. Okay, so um, I tend to, to leave. Well, thank you for the chat. Aye, no bother. Uh, if you if you change your mind about bum fun, we've got a room. Noted. Starts uh just continues smoking away. <clears throat> Douche. Uh. Yeah. Um so obviously during this time I'm going to let the idle banter would have happened, we'll have exchanged just for the sake of brevity, we'll have exchanged names properly and everything, sort yep. of just wanna make sure that's taken yeah, care yeah. of. Yeah. Um so just during the conversation, just while uh, Cecily is obviously doing her set, we just sort of say, like, um, one bar to another. Um, we're taking the north road tomorrow, as you are regrettably turning east, I believe. Have you heard any news of from that way? Not really. Have your travels um, taking... We don't, you know, this is, we made our way out to, uh, out to Dingleberry a, little, a couple, of, couple of weeks back, but we've been here for, for probably a week now. Um... We we had we took on a job to take some uh, some weird fucking wine merchants out that way. Didn't really want to hang around. They were a bit odd. Um, so we we came back. Thought we'd make a couple pennies. Um, but I know no one. Really, no really... I just go a uh, small halfling and a redhead that defies description of his offspring. So you wondered that too, eh? How odd. Couldn't help but. <laughs> ah, she's awfully big for a halfling, isn't she? One wonders. Um, no, we've just come from Dingleberries ourselves. We're actually on a mission under the patronage of the governor there. Oh, um, that one. Every now and then he comes out this way when uh, when he catches wind that we're here. Um, I just can't seem to get rid of him. I assure you my lips shall remain sealed about your whereabouts when I'm in his presence. I appreciate that. I figured... Uh, the less the less time we spent over spent in Dingleberry, the uh, the less chance he'd catch wind that we'd been there. So, yes, he's an awful, awful man. Pays well though. As yet to be seen by us, I'm afraid. But good to know that he has previous form. Yeah, you know, um, when he comes out here, he's he's we practically make enough to uh, to split it with the with the with the inn for. For lodgings for ourselves without any, whenever we want it, you know, coming here every now and then. Am I back it at the table? Yeah, is this while I'm outside? Sorry. Am I back at the table? Is this while uh, I'm outside? It's still kind of while you're outside. It's yeah, yeah okay. it's not not all quite quite there yet. Um, I feel like the last three conversations have all happened at the same time. Yeah. Just for the sake yeah. of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. He says, yeah, and he comes out and pays us a, a fair bit, but we're always quick to, um, say reject his advances somewhat. He's, uh, he's quite persistent when he wants to be. Forthright is definitely a term for him. Yeah. So, enough by me. Why are you, how, how are you, how did you come to be out here? There's not a lot of coin to be it? Um, as I say, we took care of some uh, rather unpleasant business over in Dingleberry uh, in Goblin Incursion, would you believe? Well, uh, obviously, they're building those palisades for a reason. This is it's why uh, 
Well, I think our, our jovial friend was so keen to sign us on. Seems uh, an extra couple of blades go a long way at the minute. Someone's, he, someone's, he got the, uh, someone's got the wildlife riled up. Don't not quite seen it like this for a while, but I think uh, further further east and south we're going at the minute. I think the hopefully the easier it'll get. Now, is anything of note that you've noticed too? Um, <laughs> between you and I, some of the uh, wildlife's getting smarter than you'd believe. You don't say. Though, um, not particularly. You know, usual usual affair. Wolves been seen quite a bit prowling, but you know, quite easily scared off if you got the if you make a big big enough show of it. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't say. I mean, what are you what are you looking for? We're trying to make sense of a veritable shit heap of information that's coming along our way. Unfortunately, I can't divulge much more, as frankly, we don't know as much as we'd like. So any information is she well says, received. She she coyly sort of looks over at you, um, says, "Well, I can't exactly tell you anything if you won't tell me what you're looking for." <laughs> Anything you know about? You say the wildlife's going. Would you know about anything? Would you, have you heard anything about any mobilization of the lesser races, goblins and such? As I say, we've just dealt with an incursion. Any information is well received. Not really. There's been a. There's been talk of talk of some of the other other farms and farmhands people going missing, and some of the some of the buildings have been torched. That's not really exactly an animal thing, but. It could be bandits. Um, but it could could be anything really. But yes, we've we've reason to believe it might be linked to stuff of a more arcane nature. Nothing verified yet, of course, but you don't say. Maybe you haven't heard anything barring that. No, I can't say I have. Um, and she uh, sort of leans over, and says, "I don't suppose you want to buy me a drink, do you?" I would love nothing more, and was actually going to uh, lead to two questions that I have for you this evening. One, you've been here a fair few times during the past seasons. Would you know of anyone who'd willingly travel north, say, preferably with a cart and horse, something that would be faster than walking? I mean, save for the save for horses. Um, not so much, not so much in carts necessarily, but you know, you could easily take a couple of horses up the road, no problem. Wonderful. Does the establishment hold the horses, or is it I think, someone? I think a couple of them might be a, uh, might be might be the places. But um, me and uh, me and Sess, we've got ours. Wonderful stuff. I shall inquire. I shall inquire as to that. We will definitely need speed. My second question, as I am sure you have seen, my colleagues are awful. <laughs> I have not had chance to spend company with people half as lovely and talented as you and Cecily. Would you do me the honour of sharing a drink with me once the work is done and idling the night away with some good drink and conversation? She says, uh, I'll tell you what, you do me one more. How about you do a couple of sets? We'll keep the drinks going, see, how, how, see what happens. <laughs> a drunk bard with a loot. What could go wrong? What could go right? True. Very well. So I'll just basically just while Cecily's doing this, I'll just start like idly sort of getting my loot out and just make sure the strings are properly as they should be because obviously I've been trekking on the road for a bit so I'll just kind of do a bit of tinkering on it. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Um... Waka and Gonad. What have you guys been doing? <laughs> the barrel of rum is almost empty, and Waka need... and I are. <laughs> we've seen better days. Wow. Is, is Waka. <laughs> is Waka been drinking <laughs> Oh, rum you've been okay. helping me finish that rum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to need constitution checks from both of you then. That's a lot of rum. <laughs> oh, oh my. <laughs> Um, checks or saves? Uh, saves, actually. Yeah, it's probably probably the better, more appropriate one. Oh no! 
<laughs> Waka barely touched oh, the sides. You're, like a horse, man. You're, you're just nailing it. You're, you're having, a, having a good time. You're feeling warm and fuzzy. Um, it's definitely taking the fact that euphoria is definitely there. Um, I, think, I think all of that stew and bowls I ate Definitely, helped. definitely <laughs> yeah, helped. Like, just <laughs> like, you just got just fucking bread and fucking tatties down there. That's all. And it's just soaking up gloriously. You, you could... see, for a, night, uh, for a night on a barrel of rum, I decided to line my stomach with more rum. Yeah, <laughs> with cheese <laughs> earlier yeah, in the day. Really um, however, Gonad, you are beginning to get a little bit pale and a bit peaky. A um, little bit? You're, you're not there. <laughs> I mean, you're, I, struggling, you're struggling to stand. Your your poise is very much very much. I've got a plan. You. I've got a plan. Okay. I've got a plan. And uh, this is about to become canon. I'm going to find my room and have the first tactical chunder of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, how are you, how are you making it? That's also my room. <laughs> <laughs> so which room were you going for you were going for the singles right the you were sharing the yeah, yeah, two, the singles. The yeah two, single the two singles all right so do you i assume there's together. some kind That's of a, I, I see i assume there's some kind of um waste bucket um of a sorts um so you how are you are you you're gonna struggle to get out of the out of the room quietly essentially um you kind of you stumble over a few of the you knock over the stool you're kind of stood on as you stand up. Um, you just oh fuck, um, and you start just stumbling around. You've left the barrel with uh, uh, with Waka momentarily while he's refilling himself, um, and you kind of sidle your way through the uh, the bar very ungracefully, um, and you make. Have we even been to our rooms yet? Do nope. we know where they are? Um, <laughs> okay, and you find yourself in a corridor. Uh, let me just check something here. Boop. Uh, let's show the let's show the chat because it's an exciting corridor. There's a for there is a number of doors. There is a you can as far as you can tell, they mostly don't. They look locked, but they don't look like they would be difficult. Um, you can see there is four doors on. The right, uh, the easternmost side, uh, one to the immediate north and one to the, one to the west. Did we get keys when we got the rooms? Nope. <laughs> okay. You haven't asked for them. <laughs> the best part is I don't know any of this. Um, I'm gonna find a room that's open. Okay. Um, oh god! Pick any of them. Pick if, if the door opens and it's got two single beds in it, that's my room. Pick your own. Uh, did, I, did I notice him go past? Oh yeah, he you noticed him absolutely going past. Like he was not quiet or <laughs> or, or graceful about it. Can I ask for our room key? Uh the <laughs> one of the one of the daughters um says, Yeah, yeah, sure, um which which rooms? Uh oh, I'll take all of them, I'll distribute them. She turns around, she goes, Pa the, the devil man wants his keys. Are they all his? Name's Vastificus, or Vast, you can call me. Oh. Devil man, less so. Don't mean uh, don't mean any offense. I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm taken. I'm just here. Yeah. And you hear you hear a voice uh, from from the kitchen. Uh, he says, Yeah, yeah, no, they're 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 all our friends. They can uh, they can have them. That's cool. No problem. Uh, she says, well, fair enough. And she gets out a a, a three. Uh, raw iron keys, um, very crude, but will be functional in a in this kind of context. Is there any anything to um, tell the difference, like which one's which? Have they got numbers on them? She, um, she points you to them. It says uh, the first the first three as you as you get in the corridor are you, are you guys. Um, okay. Have a good night. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Can I uh, just try? Oh god, what's he doing? I just try the door. <laughs> for, for a fact, I'm stumbling up and down the corridor. Um, are you say? Did you? This? While this was going on, um, Gonad, were you trying to check the doors? I was. I was just trying to see if any of them were open. I wasn't trying to check any of them yet. I was just seeing which ones were open. One of them if was. Any. One of them was. In order to see if they were open, surely you would have to check. That yeah, they yeah. Were open. One of the. Like, 
in the rattling. Given his yeah, like, just, creation. Just, like, Cody actually. I don't, I don't mean. I don't mean unlocked. Like I don't mean unlocked. Like I mean literally open. Oh right. Okay. Like, right. Door, so like a like, jar. Wide open. When the door is ajar, it is no longer a door, yeah. it is ajar. Got it. Yeah, no, there were none that were <laughs> that were such. Alright, okay. Yeah, in that case I didn't find fuck all. <laughs> um but yeah, vast, you make your way into the uh into the corridor. Um are you just trying the doors? Door. Yeah. Um Let's moment... just try with the keys on this though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um so it takes you uh a, tr- a momentary try, but it's not difficult to, to figure out which one works and which one doesn't. Um, oh shit! Oh, that worked. Don't know how. I thought I screwed that up. Um, but yeah, oh, you find the right one first time. There you go. A room with a single, knock uh, yourself two out. Single beds. <laughs> I'll uh, keep hold of this key. I'm gonna, yep. fi- I'm gonna find wherever the the waste bucket is. You, um, you don't find one. You do have ever find that there is a dressing table with a drawer next to, uh, like at the the foot of one of the beds. Oh god! I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Well, blue pig. I'm gonna be sick in that drawer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm not even gonna make you roll for it. You're sufficiently pissed that it'd be effortless to do it. Um. Vast as you as you pull the door to as you as you go away, you just hear like a a, a rock kind of. <laughs> And it's like wet and chunk chunks are just clattering off his teeth. Chunk delicious. Uh, and uh, you kind of you notice. And you look around. You see that the the two guys sat at the table nearest you. Lean over. <laughs> um. Uh, I give him a wink. <laughs> do, do I feel yeah. better now? Uh, you do. Um, though. You are covered. No, Wait, not I'm necessarily covered. I'm gonna in go sick, back out and start drinking again. You uh, <sighs> you prestigitate yourself, uh, clean, just... presumably. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna make myself look clean. In fact, I'm gonna make myself smell really nice. That's okay. Like for, you know, yeah. like they didn't have cologne, but they do now. For like, the that's, for the next, that's how good I smell. For the next, I've just invented cologne like, in the Middle Ages. Um, the the drawer is sat there, like filled with sick. Do you close the drawer? No. Can you, you just leave it kind of hanging into the bar? <laughs> so it's kind of like oh, half God. hanging, just an open, really an open really pool of sick. <laughs> the best, best bit about this is there's a girl I went to uni with that actually did this. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's in ace. her bedroom drawer. Oh man, that is oh. that is that is brave. Um, did, they, did she close she it? Only, she, yeah, yeah, she did. She only found out when she opened it. Oh. Oh. oh no! What was the timeline between the? T- it was the next morning. Oh, well, that's, that's not, not so bad, but like still pretty bad. Oh, oh, <laughs> still pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um. So yeah, Vast, you're back in the back in the center of the of the room. Um. Going out, you you spend a few minutes chundering and then freshening up. Um. As such. Um. Can how long does prestigit- kit- prestidigitation last? Uh, a minute, when you're cleaning, it's just indefinite. Yeah, when you're cleaning, it's indefinite. Uh, okay, cool. For, for yeah. making smells, uh, as in, like, it's only smells, baby. Um, it's, I think oh, it's yeah, a smells might be an hour, is it? Uh, it's like an hour or a minute. It's, it's, it is it's definitely a time yeah. thing, time duration. Let's, um, let's split the difference and good for, like, 36 minutes, I'm going to smell like Davidoff cool water. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Sponsorship. Um, Apart from when you open your mouth. <laughs> Smells like second. I can prestig. I can prestigitate myself to smell like mint. If um, if Ross in my mouth gone, hole. If Ross has gone for a quick wee, shall we adjourn for a few minutes then, and then uh, uh yeah, uh, I could, I could really, I could do with pissing. And then we'll return for the last leg of of, round it up. of today's events. Excellent. Awesome. All right, cool. Let's do that. So, back uh-huh. in a minute. Thank you for watching. See you in a bit.
It's uh, it's finished. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Told you it was going to be quick. I mean, all Easy but all but way. <laughs> Ross, you're not supposed to be showing things on stream, man. Not on stream. Yes, we are. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that was that was uh, a fun fun little wee for us and. Uh, Ross has had a costume change and a, <laughs> a picnic break, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So, um, where were we? We were in the bar. I'm just going to get the, the map out now. Let's have a look. Cool, yeah. So, uh, at this sort of point, um, Gonad, as you're finishing your, uh, your vomiting and cleaning up vast, you've made your way back into the room, um, Cecily comes off stage and... Uh, Sits down, uh, the at the table. Um, says, oh, well, guess it's guess it's your turn. Uh, yes, she says, indeed. She says she said it's Adela, but then you you respond with yes, and you just say, oh, okay, that's a that's an interesting that's a that's a fun twist. Okay, show us what you got. Oh, this should be very interesting. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Exuding the confidence of a of a bard extraordinaire. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And with that, I'll uh, take to the stage. How well buttered at this point? I mean, how long have we been here and people have been like steadily drinking? I'm assuming. I would say at this at this point, you you notice that the um the the, the smells from the kitchen are abating. Uh, in the sense that whatever has been cooking has been cooked for the day, um, so whatever you're going to, that could be ordered is only going to be like the leftovers of what they've got. Um, you do see that uh, that Ted comes back. Uh, people uh, sort of are more. I'm not going to bother running through the whole thing, but whilst he's doing this, I'm going to yep. take this time to formally apologise to Ted for earlier. Now that I'm a bit sober. <laughs> Uh, he says, um, "Yeah, that's uh, that's 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 okay. Just um, just please don't shout at me again." I'm gonna I'm gonna give him uh, how much have I got? You know what? Bugger it! I'm gonna give him ten gold for his troubles. Oh wow! He says, Fuck! Okay. He's the like, oh, well, excellent. Um, Dude, I, I start I started this I started this I started this campaign with triple digits. Are you pissed? Christ. <laughs> Um, so you've you've basically no, just I'm paid just, off. I'm just loaded. <laughs> you've paid off your tab and then some. Like <laughs> he's like, well, okay. I that wasn't even um, for the tab. That was just to apologise. Don't tell him that. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him that it was for the tab, and then. <laughs> I mean, he's still like, whatever you want. Uh, you can, yeah, you guys can, you can pretty much drink whatever you want now. Um, that's, that's. Did I hear that? Yeah, will he inform us of this? Uh, I definitely hear. Waka, I'll have, yeah. a, Waka, you I'll have a flagon of it. rum, please. An entire flagon to the brim. Not a, not a barrel. I can't handle another barrel. Yeah. Make that two. He, sh he shouts round the corner. He says, "Um, rogue, go get the uh, go get the more, the more 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 of the rum for the uh, for the adventure." Wow, you guys drink a you drink a lot. Um, <laughs> and, uh, oh, this is just. This is a light evening, don't worry. You, just, you hear a guy, says, Oh, but I'm finished for the day. And he says, Fucking get the rum! He says, oh. And he starts stomping out. Um, don't get the rum! And uh, it makes, you know, <laughs> he comes back uh, like a, a moment later. Um, I actually don't have a token for, for Luke. What's he, what's he going to look like? He's going to be this chap again. Fuck him. Oh, well, that's not working. <laughs> Just... Suddenly, from behind the, <laughs> suddenly from his table, he ends up behind the bar. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he comes out and drops off a, a cask on the on the bar. And he says, "There you go. You can get as much of it as you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take it. I'm gonna go f have a break. I'll see you in a bit." Um, Alrighty then. And he uh, makes his way elsewhere. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, the, the, in terms of buttering up, the crowd are relatively sauced. It's probably approaching probably like eight or nine at this point. Um, 
Yeah. I think... Uh, Fast skim another drink before he plays. Yeah. Gonad's had basically enough rum in volume alone to replace the blood that had been sucked out of his arse earlier. Um, yeah. Um, obviously, with everything we've seen, these, these are going to be like earthy, damp, damp people of the land. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The there's, there's not exactly much in the way of, of adventuring parties that you've seen uh, besides the the merchants and the bard. That's those are kind of yeah. the only people that you don't think uh, live here currently. Yeah. The common clay of Falia. You know, <laughs> morons. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, you, you you heard me, Beak. He had all, he had lots of blood sucked out of his arse earlier, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Uh, in which case, I'm going to take to the stage. Okay. And because I want to drink with the ladies, uh, seeing as we've been borrowing so handily from Patrick Rothfuss tonight. Um, <laughs> I'm actually going to... I have no I'm idea a... what you're talking about. <laughs> How dare you? I resent the implication. Everything I do is purely original and is definitely not um, copyrighted or, or stolen or, or reappropriated from anything. Except for this map that we're using, which I got from, uh, from Nerd Archive as part of the Out of the Box series, and it's great. But you guys aren't allowed to read it. Because it's a really good in-map. <laughs> Um, right, in which case, I will borrow from the uh, Patrick Rothfuss um, idea, and I'm going to sing a song which I'm going to say in canon. Everyone knows, because as a bard, I would know the common drinking songs. Mm -hmm. And it's I'm going to... Now, first off, between having a piss and coming back, I actually did put a verse and chorus together for oh, this. Oh, no. <laughs> we actually getting, getting barred? Oh, man. I wish I had another yeah. beer. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> So yeah, this song is called The Round of Ages. Okay. Uh, first verse, this is all I managed to write, is While magicians look to arcane planes and astronomers look at stars, we all know the common truth. The best thinking is done in bars. Uh, the chorus being, Leave tax returns to petty kings and wisdom to the sages. Though we may be of common blood, we'll drink the round of ages. I like that. Yeah, um, if you haven't yeah. already, take DM inspiration for that. That was good, good effort. I've, I've still got my DM inspiration for the last. God one, so damn it! All right, well, tell you what, tell you what, roll um, a performance. I was check. hoping for advantage on roll, performance. Roll a performance check honest. advantage and just keep your inspiration. Yeah, right. Um, what I want to do during this, as a as a way to uh, secure some extra drinking, drinking towns with ladies, is sort of trooper style. Try and lead each table to carry it on, like yep. if it's a common drinking song. Get everyone yep. just thumping along, and they can just carry it on. And I barely have to do a thing. That's absolutely perfect. Yeah, do your thing. Um, right. So advantage on performance, please. Come on. That's not going through. Uh, I think there you need to have go. the the page open for it to uh, to ping. Oh, there we that'll go. Do it. Oh, that'll, thank God. That'll, that'll, that'll do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as you finish it, it the. It uh, pays to be making sure you do the legwork before you do this shit. <laughs> so, you, um, you, you do the first couple of verses, the first, uh, first couple of choruses, um, and then you knowingly kind of nod off to, uh, off to Della and Sess, and they both take a turn doing, um, uh, doing a verse, and then rousing the, the rest of the bar in a chorus um, and then they kind of point off to another table and they just do another one and you're, you're just playing away but like you can tell that like other people are slamming away on on, on, uh, on tables and such and the grog is swilling as it were yeah um, the kind of song where you don't need the musical company as such the beat will carry it absolutely because it's like, cause it's like you do because you do like a verse on your own and then everyone comes in for the chorus that kind of thing exactly um, right and it yeah. is just going around you even hear um what like uh, the uh the, the the dwarf i say he's kind of just peering through and he starts bellowing out in a thick thick voice as well <laughs> um <laughs> one of them passes on to him and he goes uh, and kind of just goes outside but you can hear him like quietly doing like the like the a bridge verse at the bottom kind of thing where it's like quiet and out of sight but then it kicks back into the chorus again and everyone's back in <laughs> um yeah it, it goes it goes spectacularly well um those of you that would be interested could join in if you wanted to um but that's yeah, go on then. I've, I've, I've done my sick 
<laughs> I'm just banging my fist on the bar and just I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit drunk again Ted's getting more and more scared I've just drank a pint of rum <laughs> um, at this point Waka I want, I want you to make a constitution saving throw with disadvantage as you're going through your, your, ne- your other flagon of rum constitution saving throw with disadvantage yeah <laughs> perfect. perfect. Okay, so you're hardy enough, constitution-wise, to uh, oh, no. to not to have not been, um, let's say, completely ruined by this rum, right? Ruined. Um, however, when it when it gets to your turn to do a verse, um, it comes out like like mumbling, like you're saying words, but you just you, you, at least you think you are, um, and it comes out. <laughs> It's like it's like the really really drunk man at karaoke who doesn't you can't read the words on the prompter you know it's like that and everyone's just looking at me like yeah <laughs> carries on elsewhere <laughs> <laughs> um, excellent cool um, what happens next Duche uh, so after playing this round and obviously the we're going uh, just nuts I'm gonna. Just sort of still playing the lute, just just keep the music alive for as much as it's needed. If uh, if I get the sense, obviously that obviously the stamping will take care of it. I mean, because at the end of the day, I'm only playing like a trooper's lute. There's only going to be so far it's going to go after slamming of tables and such. Mm. I just sort of um, put my lute to the side once it's all done. Sort of give the ladies a wink and uh, just like throw up a hand to the barkeep just to sort of say keep the rounds coming. Hopefully on the assumption that folk may want to show their appreciation in the drinking way. Yeah, yeah. With a 24, they absolutely, absolutely do. Um, <laughs> though, of course, the understanding is that they would just fill the coffers behind the bar instead. Um, instead Entirely of you, the instead play. Instead of to you directly. Um, so yeah, that's great. Um, and you manage to, to sit down and the music kind of takes off for a while. And it's a good, we're talking like 30 minutes. Like, there's a few original verses in there, there's a few obscure verses, um, but that chorus just keeps on going and keeps on giving. Um, a couple of the guys start trying in, like, a, an honest way to sing, like, some rudimentary harmony over it in the in the occasional bits, but uh, it's, it's you know, it it's works enough for, for, for fit for purpose here, at the very least. Um, Enough people doing it, it sort of goes into this weird sort yeah. of same dissonance works. Exactly, kind of thing. exactly. It's it's not a difficult tune, um, and it's pretty easy to be carried along. Um, and yeah, you you have an, a, a relatively endless supply of drink coming your way. Um, yeah, um, you sat at the table. You you don't need to play your loot anymore. <laughs> it's doing its thing. Mm-hmm. Um, what are the rest of you up to? Well, I thought it was a bit shit, to be honest, but everyone else seemed to like it. What's going on? What's I? With a twenty-four, you would have been moved. You would have been tapping your feet at least. That's a tap. You were just in the fun, yeah. <laughs> yes. So um, <laughs> get off my lawn, you damn kids. <laughs> So let's say um, um, I'll uh, I'll I'll get more beer if it's free. Just sit on the stool and yeah, let, uh, let Duche do what he needs to do. And the, um, ah, so only only us only us could start playing D and D, and they go, "We're just gonna sit in a pub, play some music, and then get really drunk afterwards." <laughs> it's that's, what, that's what we want to really yeah, play. It's that's all all we like, this is this is, is supposed to be fantasy. fantasy. It is fantasy yeah. right now. I've been taking art. But anyway, well, yeah, at the moment, yeah. So um, after a bit of time, the um, the bar is quite lively. Um, the music sort of subsides. The song sort of drifts away somewhat. Um, the conversation is quite easy, um, and it begins to, to over time thin, uh, again as as people make their way back to, back to their homesteads and such. Um, a couple of people are still knocking around. You think they may well be, um, staying the night, um, and it gets to, a very kind of we're talking like midnight-ish time, um, where the music, and th- uh, and sort of general din, quiet in somewhat. Um, Gonad and Waka, you are just both fucking nearly dead. 
Um, <laughs> surprise, like, surprise. <laughs> you, you, guys, you guys can still stand, but you're not sure which, which plane you're on. Um, and like, you think Waka might be telling war stories? This one time, I smacked a guy. He was fucking... Uh, and... Yeah. So I'm going to move a bunch of people out. <laughs> um, you can see that even the... Um, even the... Uh, the bouncers, as it were, um, are noticeably... Noticeably uh, calmer. Um, a few of the a few of the kids have gone to bed. Essentially, I say kids; they're all like, you know, teens and twenties. But um, there is, you know, it gets to a point where there's like a handful of people. Um, the orc has even taken a load off, while they're all kind of thinning out for the evening. Ah, where else has everyone gone? <laughs> And it's quiet. Could I have uh, rejoined these guys over here when everyone was leaving? Absolutely. Um, Vast, you, 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 it's not even difficult to hear, but you think that the dwarf has fallen asleep momentarily. There is a, 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 like a slight snore coming from the from the porch. I'm also going to go and reclaim my seat at this table because it's comfy. I've decided that it's gonna, like a really comfy chair. I'm going to attempt to join them, but I'm going to kind of. Zigzag. <laughs> Look over here, and then oh, sorry guys, and then fall, and then fall onto this table. <laughs> <You're laughs> yeah. Wacker's just prostrate on the table. Um, Ted, I am um, prestigious shit on the Come on, section where you don't do this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You hear um, Hack get up and go. <laughs> All right, he stands up at the t- uh, from his from his perch, and uh, comes over and goes to like goes to pick you up and haul you over. And he goes, "Oh God, Ted, what have you been feeding yeah, sorry. him?" Sorry, sorry, this happens a lot. It's, it's not me. I felt nothing. He's just like, <laughs> oh God, he, he sort of holds his breath and hauls you up and. Helps drag you towards which room's yours? Uh double. I, I, I've given one of the two keys that um, double bad. I know on mine. Yeah, <laughs> 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 and he carries you off, and he just looks around. And he says, "Oh, don't fucking don't don't help me or anything." Ah, it's you, my mate. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I love you like a mate that I love. He, he, opens, uh, he opens the door. Yeah, you're, a, you're my bed. Put me to you, mate. And he's like, "Yep, yep, I'm, I'm your friend. <laughs> I'm your friend. Come on." Ah, uh, that's my bed. Yeah. Has that just... already got a pre-made shit stain on it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, cl- you collapse on the bed. Um, roll a Constitution save with disadvantage, please. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I like how you kept rolling the dice until you got what you wanted. No. <laughs> <laughs> and he makes his way back up and he uh, back through and he's like, "Your uh, your friend's a bit." Covered, he's covered in shit. I'm not cleaning it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder for a moment. I like how he's just it. saying that whilst uh, angularly walking away. <laughs> as he walks away, could I put a bit of shit onto his pants as well? You can. You can. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just a little bit. The tiniest little. Yeah, bit. not smelly. Not smelly. Just the stain. Just, just, the just stain. a nugget. <laughs> and he sits down, and he, you can see like there's a moment of mild discomfort. He's just like. It's squidgy, it's uh, but he, he gets gets comfy and <clears throat> gets back to his to his drink. Um, Did anyone else on the table notice me doing that? Uh, they are all quite drunk, so no. <laughs> <laughs> no, on our, our table. Oh, at your table. You're all quite drunk too. Um, 
However, the <laughs> bards, the bards may well have had a, have had an opportunity. Uh, no, um, Duche, you can make a uh, make a check if you'd like. Yeah, yeah, just perception, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I oh. suppose snort into my beer. <laughs> yeah, Duche noticed, <laughs> but he's probably the only one. <laughs> just because he knows me. He knows yeah. the, the flick of the hand I do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, he knows the spell the himself, right? So, Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's, um, mm-hmm. it's Gonad that knows it as well, as I recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, oh, shit, yeah I wouldn't know. I've, I've know. seen them do it enough oh, times it, though over the camera. It's got it's got verbal um, uh, component to it as well, so he probably knows the noise I make. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm wasted. I've got no idea what's just happened. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a disadvantage for you, Gonad. <laughs> like I was just saying, no, nah, you're just not going to get it. Yeah, no. eight, eight would have been my disadvantage roll anyway. Yeah, you you wouldn't get that. Um, as uh, as you guys are settling down and. Uh, and Hack makes his a uh, makes his return. Um, you can hear a scuffling at the uh, at the door. Um, as uh, it seems like the the dwarf has woken up, um, and he's like, "Oh, a bit, a bit late for that, isn't it? Thought you guys would uh, be back here well earlier than that." Um, I'm trying to think who would be able to see out the window. Go and do Shea probably. Would be able to see out the window there. I can see um, this way. <clears throat> well, you might catch them. Um, you see, uh, three men um, are approaching with uh, with a carcass, like presum- presumably a deer. It's very, it's dressed already. Um, they kind of just they come up to the uh, to the uh, porch, um, and you can hear there's a bit of um, a bit of tension between him and the and the dwarf. Um, and uh, he says, "You're not bringing that in here. Just they've just started cleaning." He says, "I'll bring whatever the fuck I want in here." And he says, "No, I've, I've said no. You're not fucking doing it." And uh, you can hear it's getting more agitated and more raised. Um, and he goes, "Fine, have it your way," and drops it. Um, but as he drops the the carcass on on his feet, he pulls out a blade and just shanks him. Yeah. I stand up. No, you don't. I sit down. Because <laughs> that's where we're going to end it for the night. <laughs> you know it's Shit. The two I was going to ask the bard ladies for a nightcap. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, yeah, the two at the back um, are masked up. Um, it was difficult to see in the dark, um, but as they approach the light, they're, they're masked. Um, the one at the front has this horrid scar down his face. Um, but yeah. Right, so who's all drunk then? Um, uh, me. I think it's yeah. uh, Russ and Sladen. All right. For the purposes of I think mechanics... It's everybody. Everybody's been drinking all night. <laughs> Okay, let's I say this. Three. Let's make it fair. You wouldn't then. let me. Ha- I tried to have rum. You wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me rum, and I didn't even know. Let's make it fair then. Um, it couldn't have been the next morning this happened, could it? Could not nope. have been the next morning. Nope. nope. Not in the slightest. Um, so, for the purposes of mechanics, um, Waka Gonad, give yourselves a point of exhaustion, because um, it'll give you the appropriate, appropriate things. Um, yeah. Uh, in fact, no. Everyone roll Constitution saving throws. This will, this will, this will decide it. Um, however, Waka mm-hmm. and Gonad, you are considered at one point of exhaustion currently. Oh, can I use my um, DM inspiration? You can. If so you I'm, want. Raising, I'm rolling another. Another one, yeah. Constitution saving. Yep. Uh, what's the DM inspiration roll? What am uh, I rolling a, on the it's advantage for? For fuck's sake. Oh, is it advantage you roll? Yeah, well, I mean, the the oh. DM inspiration would give you advantage. So imagine if oh, I right. got that. Imagine if I got the advantage on that. So shall I just roll Constitution again? Just take the higher of the two between the nine yep. and whatever I get. Yep. Yep. I'd have been the fucking bell of the ball. <laughs> okay, I'm taking the nine. I thought it was maybe DM inspiration would allow me to um, um add, like a level of dice, like a bardic inspiration, but that's nah, fine. All right. So to put this into, can I add, can I add um, the uh, uh, the tiredness, whatever you called it. Yeah, exactly. So, um, what 
so I want Waka, uh, because you failed two um, in the previous one. Sure. Give yourself two points of exhaustion, just to signify how drunk you are. Go on, Where Alex. can I add, can I add that on? The yeah, uh, it's on con- conditions <clears throat> under your HP. Yeah. Um, go on, add because you and saved then for that one. Exhaustion. So uh, yeah. come to. Uh, go on, add you saved on this one, so you. Only Sorry, have... no, I didn't catch that. So, because yeah. you saved, you only have one bo- one level of exhaustion. Um, vast, you're fine. Uh, Duche, with the nine, you're going to get one nine. one exhaustion. Right, okay. Uh, where now, do you want that on? For uh, under under D20? conditions. Yeah. Under what? Sorry, no, sorry. Uh, conditions on uh, on D and D Beyond. Conditions. Oh god, yeah. It's under HP. Yeah, some just get that. There we go. And then exhausted. So for the purposes of mechanics, um, this is just drunkenness rather than uh, rather than exhaustion as it is. But I'm using the mechanic mechanical exhaustion. It's just it's you know makes it's it easier. Fucking mechanic. I it's it's it's, dis- it's disadvantage on checks and saves, isn't it? Uh, yeah, at level two, however, is disadvantage on attack rolls as well. But Waka is also unconscious. Oh dear, am I? Yeah, you're asleep. Well, mostly. Oh, asleep. double dear. Oh, double dear. So um, you're like, it's gonna you. It's gonna take a bit of a bit of lucidity that you probably don't have to realize what's about to go on. That yeah. You know. um, Great. But with that in mind, well, where we start it next time. Uh. Gonna have a little scrap in a bar. Ooh. All right. <laughs> With so, somebody who's just managed to one shot. Yeah, you say it's a little scrap in a bar, but it's somebody who's just managed to one bomb a dwarven security guard. I didn't say he killed him, I said he shanked him. Well, it's someone who feels comfortable enough to shank a security guard. Well, that's the next thing, isn't it? <laughs> let's just hope. Uh, <laughs> let's hope the other ones. Are um, either equipped enough, strong enough, or uh, not drunk. They can be effective. So, I suppose it's worthwhile saying it's not going to be just us, is it? I'm assuming. Potentially, you don't know. Potentially, yeah, true. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Three bards. Three bards. That's a lot of inspiration being bandied about. Um, <clears throat> Maybe I can be inspired to wake up. Perhaps. Nope. <laughs> I mean, you could you could be roused quite easily, but on your own volition, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, I think. Um, but yeah, ah. it's all good. Um, so yeah, uh, on that point, I think we'll we'll call it a day. Um, so thanks again for everyone who is still watching. Appreciate it. Um, for those of you that weren't here at the start, um, we are officially affiliate, so that's cool. Um, so if you've got an Amazon Prime account. You can subscribe for free. Give us money. It's it's really handy. Um, if you don't have Amazon, you can just subscribe anyway, and we get money, and that's great. Um, outside of that, please just, uh, just tell your friends, get follows. Let's uh, let's let's make get ourselves a nice big beer tab for when everything gets gets nice and easy purely from playing D and D. Yeah, when the world is back to normal, we want to be drinking D and D money. So let's make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> this is the band night out that we're doing. We're we're role playing essentially. Maybe maybe with less shit. Yeah. But um, yeah, thank you for joining us. Um, we'll see you guys next Sunday. So uh, thank you, Ian. Very welcome. And where's the button? <laughs> GG. Bye. There it is. Bye.